Excuse me. Aren't you Marjorie Lee Winnick, the current Miss Georgia World? Why, yes, I am. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby. Let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Delicious things to eat. The popcorn can't be beat. The sparkling drinks are just dandy. The chocolate bars and the candy. So let's all go to the lobby to get ourselves a treat. Let's all go to the lobby. Hey, yo, 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 yo. Hey, yo, 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 yo. Uh, I am, you're not. Uh, you're, I mean, we can see you. I just need to fix something. Are you? You're in B1? You should be over here. Why are you talking? <laughs> yes, they can't hear you. That's what I just said. All right, now talk. See if they can hear you now. And now I can't hear you. Oh. I'm sorry. <laughs> um... <clears throat> now you're super loud. Oh. Why are you being so loud? Uh, I'm sorry. I'll be quieter. Wait, hold on. Can I speak at a normal volume? Is that how? Hold on. Just give me one second. Hey, Panwall. Thanks for the 15 months. Good to see you. Gooby the wood. Gooby this wood. Gooby wood. What up, Gooby wood? Am I yelling? They can't even hear me, can they? No, now they can hear you. When I, when I turned okay. you on, so you're... don't talk shit about chat. Uh, was chat feeling that song? Wait, hold on. Chad, are you out there feeling that song? Chad, you know Chad? Um, as you may be able to tell, I uh, do have power. I'm not at my place, though, so I am streaming remote. Sam's running the show. Um, so normally when we're doing the show and we're splitting things back and forth, um, I have unfortunately put all the work on Sam's shoulders. So I apologize to you, Sam, but you're doing a great job so far. Eh, um, I'm doing an okay job. I'm doing, I really <laughs> have That song was dope. Stuff. I was really into that. Set up. Uh, Showers yeah. of sparks in a darkened arena. Yeah, so that, uh, so I made that song a couple weeks ago. Basically, I got this, uh, uh, really cool plugin that for uh i got this really cool plugin for i played on my old stream so if, uh, some people know it's a, okay it's a samples designing women um so yeah i got this cool vst for ableton that is a lot of uh kind of orchestra sounds like a lot of really good like string samples and stuff like that and uh i and so that was a big part of making this song and so i made this this uh this track i thought it was pretty cool and i was looking for something to like punch it up a little and i was looking at instagram and my friend and uh like a, a really good friend of trevor's actually uh this guy tom has a place up in palm springs and he had this video of this bar in Palm Springs and they were just they were here's the thing they were they were listening to a that does not help what uh they were listening to they're watching an episode of designing women in all talking along and i was like what is this and he's like yeah it's like a sports bar in palm springs but instead of like sports it's episodes of designing women <laughs> and so there there's this uh whole like tirade that i think is like kind of a famous for the designing women crowd tirade that uh the main character goes on what was it 
Suzanne. Is it like a Rocky Horror where everyone like like says along? I don't think it's supposed to be like that. I think that was just like a spur of the moment thing where like people were just like, hey, I'm going to like, they're saying it and I'm going to speak along. I think it was like a, a spontaneous Rocky Horror. I don't think it was like advertised. Hey, it's designing women night. Let's all, but maybe, I don't know. I don't even know. It's so weird to me because designing women hasn't been on the air in a very long time. Yeah, I mean, you know, not to like, you know, stereotype or anything, but gay dudes love designing women. I think it's it's kind of their thing. Okay. Yeah, uh, <laughs> they're all about time. it. That's that's great. Uh, and this is Tom's bar. So Tom was like way into it. Yes, uh, he was also way into murder. She wrote too, which yeah. I'm back. <laughs> which is yeah. funny. This is I, oh, I don't want to dox tom or say what he does but he uh does stuff for a living that everyone knows um anyway welcome to trailer boys welcome to trailer Thank boys um, um i'm sorry i missed last week's episode but it was really fucking rad i was like yeah, every there's... trailer you were picking was so good and what I was, was like, wow. different about last week oh yeah you weren't here it was really good episode. Yeah. You did a good job. And it was really good. I was like, oh, I'm, I'm just kidding. bringing the show down. <laughs> yeah. But no, so you crushed it. Try it not was, to it screw it up, episode. okay? Too much pressure. Uh, all right. <laughs> not my Busey says, or Bussy. Is that butt pussy? Uh, not my Busey says, yes, we gays love designing women. <laughs> there you go. Oh, God. Uh, <laughs> so uh hey thanks yeah i i was trying to watch a show um the snowstorm came in knocked power out for like the whole weekend i didn't have heat so it did get sketchy for a little while uh i think some people saw the pictures in discord of me like shoveling in this crazy ass blizzard um <laughs> wait you shoveling but well, our mom has like a hurt hurt hand and she was posting that like sending a family text that she's like i shoveled the dry it's like what the fuck is nate doing she can I'm she's, she's getting credit. surgery on her hand yeah, yeah, yeah i was not posing for pictures or you know whatever but you know we shoveled and oh so the funny thing was is she baked up chicken pot pie for our neighbors that have a snowblower and the snowblower broke so we ha i had to go shovel but then i would like shovel and take a break and she'd be like i'm gonna go shovel and i'm like i have it and then i'd be like feeling guilty and i go back and shovel more um, but I was able to watch a show on my phone, but I had like two bars, so I missed a lot of it. I'm mostly with audio, so. But it sounded great. Uh, and that's my story. Um, is anyone here new to Trailer Boys? I'm waiting for someone to say something to me pers directly. Yeah, yeah, okay. stretch, stretch. Andy Mack says every week he's new to Trailer Boys, but he's here every time. Um, what we do, I'll try and make this quick because I always make it too long. Sam and I will choose trailers from a list of movies. And where do those trailers come from, Sam? They come from you, the audience, the viewers. You guys. So we'll pick a theme. Uh, lately, what... Sam has been doing is like picking a theme for next week based on the winner of this week. What happens is we'll, we'll go through the list. Context is optional, but we do pick the trailers based on some of the context. Like some of the things just say old person movie and it's like, okay, but it doesn't really draw me into it. Like we have for this week, we have a couple hundred. Um, but some of them are like, if you give us a synopsis that makes me want to watch it. Sure. Or, you know, some people will be like, Oh, this, meets the requirement but it's maybe not a good trailer or something that we're looking for interesting weird shit um we'll vote on it sam and i we each get two points to give a trailer and then if we really like something and we're like this is special we can uh join the medallion and break the seal i don't know uh we do don't the force i like how you think we're getting it wrong we don't have to call it anything but still you're like it still sounds like you're lying when you say it like you could say anything and it, it would be the truth yeah you're bad okay. at making stuff up that's just what i'm saying you don't I'm have professionally the professionally trained you don't have the confidence 
<laughs> we we do a bonus point. So together, if we really like something, we can total give five points. Chat, you guys, besides even submitting trailers, you do get to vote as well. And it's either yes or no. Like I I vibe this. I don't like I don't like this. And we are scoring things on the Gooby point system, which the percentage of yes likes will get a certain amount of points. So zero to twenty five percent, zero points. 25 to 50, one point, 50 to 75, two points. <laughs> 75 yeah, to I mean, give or take or, three points. Give or take a point. You have some points over some percentages overlapping, but it's fine. Yeah. I think we always tie goes to the runner and bump it up. Yeah. It's yeah. Right on the line. But I feel if, if, if it's 100%, we get four points, right? Do we? I, don't I think, think so. so. It's only Do happened we? one time. It's only happened one time. I think it happened twice in the same episode. Uh, yeah. You know what's crazy, though? I remember The Lift, but I don't remember the other movie. Uh, yeah. Does anyone remember the other things movie? Come, it was when it things, things come things alive. alive. Maybe it's worth creating <laughs> a command man. detailing Gooby points. Yeah, we'll do that. My explanation of Gooby points is always more confusing because I still don't fully understand and get the math wrong. So um, everyone's now just yelling out movies that we watched. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you want to? Uh, we actually do have the leaderboard if you want to talk Zach, about that. Should I move out of the way. No, no, it's just the full screen. Okay. So yeah, the leaderboard now in season two. Whoa, Flanja still in the lead. And Flanja, I, I saw you in chat earlier. I don't think you submitted anything this week. So I think you're just coasting on your laurels. Do you and know the rest of the board is pretty tight. So you know what's fascinating, though? Um, so this, this right here is... The leaderboard. The leaderboard. Uh, it's... I... To, to do this because I'm you know usually not hosting and hosting this week I found an old leaderboard that we did and I I like it was right before the tournament of trailers or whatever we call it yes um, Champion. and the 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 funny thing was was that like 10th place was like whoever was in 10th place had like like uh i don't know like like nine points 13 points would would have put you in 10 place and so i was like oh we must be like we must have done a lot more episodes but no third place hendo 39 i forget who it was in third place in the other one but exact same score huh what does that mean people are bringing it this year yeah, and it's you see like the difference between tenth place and second place. It's like you know that's like one trailer. You know, like Dean Domino could have one dope trailer and all of a sudden jump up there. Flanger though is in that Manchester City kind of air though. You know, like he's kind of running away with it. Uh... But you know, he's also gonna chill. I think he took a bye week. Yeah. And, you know, the thing is, I, the problem, well, not the problem, but, you know, we're picking movies not at random, but, like, what interests us, not based on, like, who's on the leaderboard, you know? So, uh, I think there's something to be said about the context these people put into their submissions uh, that grabs me. <laughs> I feel like last uh, the last time I was on the show, I picked one because the, 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 the uh, context of it was hilarious but then we played it and it turns out that somebody had submitted it before but the context wasn't the same they just were like it was a boring context but you know we got to give points to the I, I don't know how that works that's your your choice but we did give points to the person that submitted first yeah but yeah flange yeah. just likes having 69 points and he's just gonna chill <laughs> And maybe. Oh, are you making your own trailer, Flanja? He had a dope trailer, but his video editing software took itself too seriously and stopped working with audio. Oh. 
All right. So you were making your own trailer. All right. I'm gonna need... Now we've told everyone how the show works. Uh, let's let's watch uh, what won last week. I marked it on the thing. So do you want to load it up? Did you load it up? Um, I did. Oh, you are. You have joined. Let me. I can grab it. Uh, and the winner was Grimward. Grimward, I think, is a season two trailer boy. I don't think Grimward was a season one on the board person. So welcome to TBZ's. Okay. Um, I loaded it up. You didn't. Let me see. Um, how do I hit play on this? We're on a new software. All right. Is this playing for you? I can't move away from here. I'm afraid. I'll get a Sorry court order. I'll have you thrown out. out. No, we won't let you do that. You better not try. Are you threatening me? AFCO Embassy presents Homebodies. They were six old people with nothing to do but kill time. Then they discovered something that made life worth living. Murder. <laughs> the only flaw of this trailer is... Why not say kill people, right? Yeah. I I love how it's like murder, and then it goes into this like yakety sack style, like wacky song. Yeah. <laughs> Homebodies, the surprise movie of the year. Do you know where your grandmother is tonight? So, what was last week's theme? It was, uh, uh, like, crew movies, you know, like... Oh, uh... So like, that... Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that gang one... together. Yeah, team em ups and that one... team em ups And so that got us to this week's uh but like it, it was decided before it won um so yeah so yeah uh m bidding says the every which way but loose song is stuck in my head yeah i listened to that on my streams after we watched that episode and then I remember we were talking about the sequel, and I was like, the sequel isn't as good because it doesn't have a theme song. And then midweek, Sam texts me, and he goes, yo, I found the soundtrack to uh, Any Which Way But Loose. Yeah. I think it was, yeah. And he was it's like, and they had a song for it. Yeah. And it was, I was like, I listened to that. A and then people were complaining. They were like, but please here? stop playing this country music. Every Which Way But Here? Yeah. yeah. Any Which Way But Loose. Every which way but here. Shriggle says, you're fucking welcome for that song, homies. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, fucking thank you, okay? Okay, so now's my segment. So I'm not split screened. I've got like one thing in that. Oh! <laughs> Is this a religious movie? No. Okay. It like genuinely looks cool. Anticipation feu Notre Dame. Oh wait. Notre Dame brûle. Ça va débarquer partout. Les officiels, oh, les shit. politiques, les célébrités. On va avoir deux feux à gérer. Il va falloir vous battre à quelques-uns. Paris est bloqué. The framing, because it's got subtitles and the subtitles are getting crossed. Pour suivre en reconnaissance, c'est pas bon. Ça va Alors on y va Ça veut dire des astres annoncés. Yeah, it's French, but... Man, those fire helmets are cool as shit looking, right? Fucking firefighters, so, I mean... 
monter avec quelques gars en haut. Je crois qu'on peut y arriver, mon général. Avec mes hommes, on se porte volontaire. On a demandé des noms oui, supplémentaires et du renfort. Il n'y aura pas de renfort. <rire> Grimworld said, Notre Dame! <laughs> I assume that's how like you ordered it. Video. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Film for uh, IMAX. The title is that kind was... of uninspired, though, you know? <laughs> yeah. Uh, true, what are we going to call this? Like Blazing Inferno, Holy Fire. Uh, what about Notre Dame on Fire? Good. Go run with it. <laughs> True. Or I bet you the original French language uh, title is something like really pretty sounding and poetic, and they were like, "Let's Americanize it." And they're like, "Fuck it, Notre Dame on fire." They'll they'll get what it is from the title. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the agony uh, of of the flame. <laughs> some mm. of those some of those shots looked like real things, like that. Uh, those fire helmets are dope as shit, though. Like. Right? All right, I'm going to send us on a tangent right now, but this basically okay. looks like uh, like a kind of like you get the whole like Roland Emmerich disaster film, which is something you wanted to talk about, but it's also yes. French. So you're like, oh, I'm smart. I'm better than everyone else at my work. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I liked about it, too, is it was kind of like the French version of... Uh of uh, uh what was that russian like uh nuclear disaster movie um chernobyl chernobyl it's like the french chernobyl chernobyl where Did it's like right? chernobyl <laughs> yeah chernobyl but it's uh, like definitely not as hard you know you know like the, the the russian guys were like fuck it we'll dig this hole naked and we're gonna die of cancer we're doing it and the french guys were like it's fire and there's a church We'll do it. I do like fireman movies, though. Uh, I mean, but like, I I think there's gonna be something fascinating about this with the fact that like, you're like, you probably get to this fire, you're a firefighter, and if it's anything, they're like, all right, just like fucking shoot some water on it, and there's probably gonna be part where they're like, uh, you can't shoot water right there. That's where fucking God lives. That's God's <laughs> toilet papers in there. Uh, the, like, like it's that a, part in like Ghostbusters. It, like, what are you doing? And they're like, oh no, we got to do our thing. But it's like, oh, it's hard to do your thing because this place is so fucking old and also so weirdly important. <laughs> <laughs> The French title would most likely be Notre Dame sur Fieu. Fieu. I think Almo, that's happy birthday. Notre Dame on fire. Thank God is there. <laughs> <laughs> it worked for man on fire. That's that Jesus' is wank movie. bank. You can't spray water on it. Yeah, true. <laughs> is this the worst thing to happen to France ever? Um. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> They've had some shit. So I hope there's a part where somebody's like, and it's like, it's like some young millennial, and they're like, "This has got to be the worst thing to happen to France ever." And there's like some guy from World War II that's like, you know, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, you did um, bring up, you know, Roland Emmerich, and a previous coming attractions movie that we've watched was a movie called Moonfall. And I saw Moonfall it came out this week, and I haven't seen a movie in the theaters in a very long time. And so uh, this week I went to a movie, and it was Moonfall, and holy shit. It was one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. A huge piece of shit. I loved it. It was, uh, it was like a five, like it was a two points for me. I would have been like, Sam, let's, let's unite. It was fucking hilarious i was laughing my ass like and it's serious it seems like a parody of a, of a real movie like it looked like roland emmerich was like somebody was like let me take all roland emmerich movies and make a parody of it it was amazing um <coughs> it, it was so fucking crazy and i had some cool like you know day after tomorrow like effect shots and stuff that were really neat but holy shit I loved it. It was so fucking good. It was so bad. Ooh, actually, <laughs> I was going to show one trailer that I hadn't seen. This is another trailer that I haven't seen. 
and I'm going with this one because it the cast looks so bad that this has to be so good. All right. Can't believe we're having a baby. You're gonna be the best mom ever. Where is he from? Jackson Police Chief is taking questions now. On my watch, I will always protect the city, and it's all for you. It's Tyrone. They got Candace. I need that dead you owe me. What did you do to my wife? What do you want, Connor? Hey, brother. I need your help. I need $2 million by midnight. There's only one team I know that can pull this off. Cap, where is she? We're all watching you, Chief. We're all watching you. Show's over. Everything we've done till now has been under the cover of the flag. But this is outside the law. So what's the plan? We need guns. This is like... Mash and grab. Like a fantasy this football a team. One. After your first two, like, ugly. picks get injured, this is, like, what yeah, your fantasy yeah, football yeah. teams are usually like, where it's just, like... You have no idea who you rob. You know, like, Bruce Willis, some, like, old player that, like, is just time. does not have it anymore. Frank Give Grillo. He might have a good show in this year. Right who knows? And shoot. then, like, Kevin Dillon's your pick right before you your walk kicker. Away. She dies. So what we gonna do? <laughs> we got the element of surprise, and we got violence. You ready? We got the element of surprise, and we got violence. That's a good line. Yeah. Knowing what battles to fight. The funny critical. thing to me is every time I see a movie like because in the neighborhood of this, hey, right? Of course. Yeah. I'm thinking of kind of You're not going to say yeah, anything. Shitty heat. Yeah. This is definitely in that shitty heat genre. In these streets. <laughs> I was trained for war. I like Frank Grillo. Yeah, Frank Grillo is somehow the other Gerard Butler all of a sudden, you know? Do you think if Frank Grillo was in Den of Thieves, it would have been a better movie? Uh, you remember that part when he goes to his ex-wife's house and she's like on a double date and he's signing the divorce papers like being an asshole? Well, yeah, I mean, <laughs> it, it would have, like, instead of Gerard Butler in that same role. Yeah. Yes and no. It would have definitely been like a better movie. Let me get out of the fucking 4K ethereal space here. Uh, it would have been. It definitely would have been like a better movie. It would have been like. Uh, it would have been like probably more boring because the shittiness of it makes it better. You know. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm with you. Uh, uh, I do like the shittiness of things. And again, that's why we have trailer boys is because some movies are so shitty they're not worth watching, but they're really fun trailers. Yeah. Uh, and this is this, do, this week. The theme was uh, old people, and we get the trailers from you. And uh, so, if you want to submit a trailer, if you're new here. Just go to this web address. It's easy. We have a spreadsheet. Your stuff will immediately appear on our spreadsheet. And we look through it. There's more than enough for an episode. So, uh, But sometimes somebody will like just find inspiration, put something in there. I mean, every episode we'll watch something that has been submitted during the episode. Not on purpose, but it just jumps out on us. So Yeah. So... Is there I anything will in the list that you're like, we won't watch? Spread on your sheets? Schwingles. God. No, <laughs> no TOS. Make sure it's like not it. like a red band trailer. You I know. do appreciate... Uh, I just want to give a shout out to some of the people out there. Again, we try and hit everybody. So we're, we're asking people to keep them to three, you know, and then also you can be referential within your trailers so i know somebody submitted a couple that seemed interesting and then they submitted one and they were like forget the other trailers if there's one trailer of mine you should watch watch this one and i'm like i appreciate the context there because like 
you're kind of self-editing. You're like, this is the one. Um, but you don't have to do that. And we, but again, sorry if we don't see that too. We're 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 only you know we're people here. We're trying to do the best we can, and sometimes we miss that shit. Um, do you want me to kick it off, or do you have one ready to go? Uh, you kick it off. I'm still tweaking stuff. All right. Uh, yeah, we did get a, a ton of trailers too. Um, and I, I like to, some of them get submitted a bunch. I like the weirder trailers, but you know, if like 10 people have submitted the, the same trailer, you know, maybe it's worth checking out. Um, so let's see, you ready? If I hit play. Oh, uh, give me one second. It's weird. Cause I'll hit like paste. Cause this, we're using a new kind of share software thing. And then I hit it, and it makes it big. And oh, it's yeah. Oh, there you go. Okay. You've been at this, haven't you? I have. Uh huh. To us, still here. Still here. Is that you know, the guy, the can. blind guy yeah. from that movie? Yeah, Debbie Post. How about we close the bar down early tonight? What do you got going on? The best birthday that Freddie ever got. The norm. Hey, this is girl. Oh. I saw yeah. Norm. Hey. At- Placements concert, no way. It's Q and A time, kid. I see, the problem is that me and my old friends are probably gonna die tonight unless you help us out to understand what's oh, happening. Oh, fucking! Uh, Hold up, oh, oh, can you pause it for a second? killed my sister. That guy has been in like every week of Trailer Boys. The guy who plays Death from uh, the Grim Reaper from William Bill and Sadler. Sadler has been in like. Have you noticed this? Sadler's been in like. He's like the new Jack Black for us. He's I mean, been he, in like every episode around. we've had. He gets around. Yeah. And then, yeah, that that's, him, that's, 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 it looks like him, yeah, right? I think, yeah, William Sadler's there and the guy that plays Crease uh, from, uh, yeah, Karate Kid. All right. This, though, it's all he's got his whole life. No EFW. What is that? Veterans of foreign wars. Good. Soldiers are good at dying. There's only one satisfactory <laughs> solution, and that oh. is we get our product back, and each of you die. You were a soldier. So we all. Let's act like it. We set a perimeter. We make our stand. The blind guy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Very slowly. From you don't last. But whatever you want to make do, a sound. Do it. Or you don't breathe. Mistake. I'm gonna cut your heart out. He probably does. This ain't right? the only option. You can push that person's heart right out. Right back out to the way she yeah. came in. Sounds like knowing yeah. how this guy makes me do all of this. I never asked for your goddamn help, Gramps. The second you walked through that door, we was duty bound to help you. Johnson, let's go. This is Raftery. Anybody else want to come in my bar? <laughs> but when he says come, he means like, see you. Um, I love the line where he's like, uh, what does VFW stand for? You know, like yeah. you have to explain it to you, like right in the trailer. And it's like, the girl's like veterans of foreign wars. Is it like, good? They're good at dying. It's like, well, these guys survived. So <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that's the best, you know. Yeah, ca- casualties <laughs> of foreign war, maybe. Yeah, your logic kind of sucks because these guys have probably killed people and they survived. And uh, I guess that's obviously what the movie is about, right? Very fancy wieners. <laughs> <laughs> Very fancy wieners. Good. Very fancy wieners. Uh, Good at dying. Poll is up. Poll is oh up. Oh my god. Mustache Flex is gifting five tier one subs to the community. Whoa, Mustache that's, Flex. That's my buddy Oscar. Oh, Oscar. Oscar. Been streaming Stop. a lot of Destiny. He's a homie of mine. Um, you may recognize him from our uh, D&D campaigns. Oh. Fun dude to follow. Give him a follow. Um, but yeah, I, I, uh, I'm going to have to give that a point because I, I want to watch it. It's, it seems very obvious, like what you see is what you get kind of stuff. So I'd be surprised if there was more to it. Uh, I know 
uh, drive the cars concrete, escape from cell block. And I, like those are kind of intense violent movies. So I'll, I'll give it a point. It didn't, it, it wasn't like, holy shit, but uh, you know, it's got me for one. Yeah. It's, it's also, it's got me for one too. And you know, I'll say this is like, uh, I, I have Trevor was so in, to all those dragged across concrete stuff yeah uh he was very very into to all that crap uh and i went to see dragged across concrete with him because he was a big fan of bone tomahawk and uh and the movie gets out and i was like oh man like (laughs) all right that was that was something you know like that was funny and he was like, oh, I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> I was like, I can picture him just like ear to ear smile. Like, really? Uh, <laughs> and I don't know. Did you see Drive Across Concrete? No. They're like, I, it, the funny thing is, I've only ever heard one person talk about it, and it was him. <laughs> and he was like, it's my favorite movie. And I'm like, I've never even heard of it. It's insane. Cause like part of that movie is like they're playing this this like they're like one of the guys has a kid and he's like oh what are you playing and he's like it's this game where you got to be the king of the jungle and he's like huh what do you got and it's like the shittiest looking graphics for a video game it, it's like it looks like someone made it in an hour and uh and it's like the most obvious like metaphor for what's going on and like the jungle that we live in and and it the movie it's not like that's just like a part of the movie it's 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 not like it's just like a little bit of the movie the movie ends with the kid playing that game again and the guy's like oh and <laughs> so it's just like it's it's bad it's like so upfront about being bad and it's also like part of it is like mel gibson going man fucking her like like there's a part where I, they're in a diner where uh what's his name vince vaughn's like is that a man or a woman singing and mel gibson's like who even knows anymore what's the <laughs> difference <laughs> oh that's awesome <sighs> yeah um i think chat gave that a two points I don't think it got over 75, but I think it was in the 60, 70 area. Um, um, and I give it a point. I give it a point three. two. So that, that'd be four. It, it, you know, I'll say like, like it looks like a little bit of a Sharknado. It looks like a little bit of like a, Oh, this is going to be so crazy that people are going to flip, which I just really? like, I didn't get that vibe from it. Well, no, I mean, like, with, like, it's, like, over the top, you know, with the, the gang yeah. members. Not, like, straight up bad Sharknado bad. It definitely uh, has, like, a polish to it. But it's definitely, like, I think, uh, like, has this gratuitousness to it. And I think, like, that's yeah. um, kind of what S. Craig Zoller is all about. Uh, but... it, I think it looked, like, fascinating. And the whole, like, v, like guys got to get into a v, VFW uh, or like or trying to kill the people in a VFW is kind of a fun premise uh, yeah so yeah I give it a point that's why it's like it's so simple to be like alright so this is what the movie is and I'll be like fuck it I'll watch that I'm in <laughs> yeah. you know I'm sure it's pretty much on rails after that you know yeah. anything that's a twist I'm in you know like like here's the thing uh, VFW is, is green room with old guys. Yeah, but like, yeah, if it wa- if it was green room with old guys, I think that would be rad. But like, the uh, the gang was so cartoony that was going after them that yeah. it looked like it didn't take itself serious enough to be a better movie. <laughs> like, it looked like it had the yeah. opportunity to be like green room with old guys. That does sound like a fun movie. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, the bad guys in Green Room were like scary bad guys because they looked like real, you know, skinheads. Yeah, you know, like, like real people life you'd shit. see. Those guys looked like uh, These... <laughs> uh, surf Nazis must die, you know, like bad yeah. guys. <laughs> they look like the Lost Boys. Yeah. <laughs> uh, or 
like uh you know escape from new york yeah. like those like <laughs> i like punish wall flashy gangs punish janus is uh yeah the gang looked like it came from a ninja turtles cartoon <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah the remnants of the foot clan um all right so that got four points and that was submitted a bunch uh and and i never heard of it before uh which is cool and jay nihilist that was your that was our second submission of the night of of uh of the show of the theme so that was right there okay so for this next one this is my uh dragged across concrete <laughs> this is your drive Welcome across to concrete Springs retirement community yeah. have the time of your life for the rest of your life oh uh, we are young we run we free. got everything you could ever need over a hundred clubs uh, what brings you to sun springs oh i'm just here to die uh-huh hi moving uh, in i was hoping you'd be a man there's not enough erections around here as it is. What? This? You were a cheerleader. My mother was very sick, so I quit the team. Maybe you should give it another shot. <laughs> we will start Have you heard this movie? Have you seen this? You I've seen this movie. Oh, well. Ourselves. Show us what you thought. I always did want to be a cheerleader. I'd ask my husband, what did he say? Over my dead body. That was fast. A little too fast, if you ask me. See, I practice. <laughs> a competition. Mm -hmm. Let's sign up. We could do with a little help. We want you to be our choreographer. The oldest category is 18 plus. We're 18 plus. 18 plus 50. I'm not going to lie to you. It's going to be a lot tougher than I thought. When I jump too much, I get dizzy. I had my knee replaced. <laughs> did I mention I had chlamydia? Yeah, you did, along with a shocking amount of other information. Martha, what about you? Me? No, I'm fine. I'm fit as a fiddle. What didn't you tell me? I'm dying. You were dying yesterday, and you're going to be dying next week. And in the meantime, you should be dancing your ass off. You are going to humiliate yourself. I can't do this. We're all so worried about what everyone else is thinking, when, of course, the only thing that really matters is what we think of ourselves. Is that Maude? Break the Maud? Get pregnant. Oh, in the wheelchair? No. She's dead. Who's the lady in the wheelchair? I'm scared. I'm scared too. But there's the one I'd rather go out there with. I've never had a grandma before, and now it's like I have eight. You're one of us now, except mm. with higher boobies. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo. And that's your favorite movie? Of all time, yeah. I saw it in theaters with Trevor. He was not impressed, but I was crying <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> now show um, us the, the Red Band trailer. Uh, they also said 18 plus 50 would make them 68. And I don't think any of them were 68. Yeah. It's good. It good, seems wild. good cast. Good cast. Yeah. The, there was a, a smaller lady with like gray hair and a bun that was in a wheelchair in a few scenes. And I... I can recognize it from something but I can't put my finger on it. Yeah, wait, it, let me look up the cast. It is a really good cast. Was she... Uh, let's see. Jackie Weaver, who is... Was Jackie Weaver from uh, Animal Kingdom? I let me see. see. A TV show? The the movie. Uh, Silver Lining Play... Yeah, Animal Kingdom. She was nominated for an Oscar for the fucking for the movie Animal Kingdom for the movie uh which had uh Ben Mendelsohn big break for him it had um what's his name um the guy from Warriors what, what was that guy's name um uh, Australian guy the Australian guy yeah it's an Australian movie uh, Jackie Weaver's Australian. And yeah, Jackie Weaver's Australian. That movie rules. Uh, Pam Greer. So you were thinking of Phyllis Somerville, who is from. That was Pam Greer. Yeah, Pam Greer. Uh, was she. Was Phyllis Somerville the mom from Prisoner? Uh, let's see what she. She's been in everything lately, but. Is she from Somerville, Massachusetts? No, she's from Iowa City, Iowa. 
who did a show there once. Oh, she was a mayor of East Town. Where do I recognize her from, though? There's something I recognize her from. I can look at her IMDb. Daredevil. Speaking of Tom Lieber. Oh, you recognize it from the black, the blacklist. You loved that show. Blacklist, yeah. I've, oh, maybe blacklist it was Kimmy guy. Schmidt that it, no. Benjamin Button? Something that, maybe Benjamin, just, no. Like, listing off, I've, yeah, she's done a lot of work, she's especially of in like the last 10 to 20 years. So I imagine like, uh, she got a pretty crazy CV. Oh, I know what it was. It was Swim Fan. Oh, she played Brenda on The Sopranos. We all remember Brenda. <clears throat> um, Did you ever see the movie Prisoner? I don't know why that jumped out at me. Like uh, the Jake Gyllenhaal one? Yeah, I like that movie a lot. That was a cool movie. Not my favorite Jake Gyllenhaal movie, but that was a good one. What's your fake Jake Gyllenhaal movie? And why is it Ambulance? Favorite Jake Gyllenhaal movie? Yeah. Uh, Nightcrawler. Yeah. Okay. Nightcrawler's fucking. Rad. Nightcrawler is is creepy in the same way that like prisoners are creep is creepy though. You know, it's kind of get that same little uncomfortable he, vibe. Yeah. Night Nightcrawler is like more of like this fucking taxi driver kind of thing though. Yeah. Like, um, I think it's I the saw closest we're gonna get to movie, a modern taxi driver for a while. The the. They showed a trailer for Ambulance, and we've watched the trailer for Ambulance in the coming attractions before, and it was fucking hilarious how it was this really long trailer that gives you all the movie. And the trailer we saw in the theater was like an extended cut, and it had so much more of the movie in it. It was so funny. Like, hey. people were yelling out, like, now I don't have to see it. Um, just, just, uh, uh, I, I want to see Nocturnal Animals. I haven't seen I, it, but, uh, the if there's a, a mod in the chat, please do me a favor and, um, time out Al Mobes for like five minutes for saying that <laughs> Donnie Darko was the correct answer. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's Al Mobes' birthday. Al Mobes, time, uh, yeah, I know it's your birthday. Her birthday. Peace, motherfucker. <laughs> That's how the trailer boys do it. Happy birthday. Yeah. Sit in the corner. Um, that movie is called Palms, right? Palms, yeah. Okay, uh, I just put it up. For uh, the longest I'm, time, that movie, for the longest time, I thought that movie was called Palms because of how sexy it is. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> and that still doesn't, under. I don't understand. Um, but did you really see that movie Harry in the theater? Palms. No, I didn't see it in the theater, but I did see it. Uh, I think I rented it. Uh, it was because <laughs> Emily and I were hanging out. And we were like looking for a movie to watch, and sometimes like a bad Diane Keaton movie is like the perfect movie to watch, and like to not like enjoy a movie, but just to like spend time with someone. You know, that makes sense. I like that. You know, you talk through it. Book club, book club. Also, I mean, book club might be on the show tonight, so I don't want to blow my load um how many points do you get palms then uh two <laughs> <laughs> Here, you stand for nothing chat gave it one point chat gave it one point uh, and i gave it zero points so oh palms gets three points Let's see. Who submitted that? Palms was submitted by Sparkle Pony. Sparkle Pony. And with the, with a great description, old cheerleaders dot 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 hot. <laughs> hot. <laughs> it doesn't say that, does it? Yeah, it does. <laughs> I think. Wait, wait. Let, let's go back to something for a second. I just want to show us a moment. Okay. Show a moment again. Uh, In this audition thing, this. Show us what you want. One lady fucking kills it. This lady here, look at this dance. Yeah, no, no, I like that the best. That lady. Hey. That lady was a laugh machine in that movie. 
that yeah oh really whenever she had a line it was like solid delivered yeah I like it um all right uh here's one for me here's one that like you know again context um I, I don't if I saw the title of the movie because I'm familiar with it I wouldn't have picked it but the context I was like okay uh, and I'll say it afterwards but uh, this is it you ready yeah. the residents of 817 East 8th Street are about to lose everything they have what do you mean I those think you and I saw this in, in the theater tonight I'll have them out I was tonight. about to be like wasn't this Nothing the winner last this world week can save them <laughs> Nothing. I think we did see this right cool. Steven Spielberg presents a Matthew Robbins film. Welcome to America. <laughs> Spaceships from a very small planet. Very small. This is history. Machines that reproduce themselves. I like being a family again. What the hell is that? It's them, the little guys. I don't know how you got here or why you picked us. Somebody's helping. Somebody's bringing them together. Is that why you're here? Batteries not included. Starring Hume Cronin <laughs> and Jessica Tandy. It's a quick trailer. Quick trailer. So the <laughs> yeah, it's kind of precious. It was. It said robots making babies. Old people watch. <laughs> <laughs> what is the context? Robots making babies. Robots, comma making babies, comma old people watch. And I was like, well, that's funny. So that's why I picked that. Um, let me see. Oh, um, I do think I saw that in the theater with you, though. <clears throat> what did you think of that one? Uh, I thought that was fun. Oh, man. Oh, man, what? It's just, all right. I'm gonna I'm gonna be a dick here in my first trailer. Uh, I'll bring it up in a second. Um, yeah, I thought they were sex robots. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think <laughs> it's, I'd seen the movie and knew that wasn't about it. I thought the trailer sucked. It's so funny. I know it was only. It, it's really funny how the the movie's called Batteries Not Included. <laughs> like. Like that's such a weird yeah. it's such a weird title. It's like, uh, oh, these these are battery batteries not included in these robots. I don't know. Like I feel I wanted more from the trailer though. I just don't I mean a minute and a half is tough, but like I just don't feel I got enough from it. I'm giving it a point for the uh the context. I gave it two points. Ch Chad so... gave it two points. And I'm giving it no fucking points. All right. I'm going to be a dick right now. That was Zombie Bender, by the way, and he knows what he did. I'm going to heel turn right now for people. <laughs> uh, Your whole story arc has been a heel turn, so. Yes. Uh, yeah, so how can I heel turn a heel turn? Um, no, Fisher Stevens does brown face in uh, short circuit. Uh, it was problematic. Let's see. Uh, um, the first trailer I showed was by Sparkle Pony Three. I saw the first trailer. That wasn't. That was the second trailer they submitted. And I, I'd already seen the first trailer they submitted, and I was like, you know what? I, I don't want to watch this trailer. I've seen this. I want to start with something stronger. But then the third trailer they submitted is a remake of the first one. So I'm like, I want to see the, I just want to see this. And, and 
Do you want to see the original or the remake? The original trailer. Yeah, I want to see okay. what, what's going on with this because I didn't even know that the 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 um, first trailer they submitted that was came out a couple years ago. I didn't even know it was a remake. Yeah, I mean it's your show. You get to do whatever you want. Yeah, <laughs> it is. And if I got to spend another that. day doing nothing but sitting around in that park looking at the muggly kids, I'm going to go nuts. This is a public There's service friends. announcement from your local law enforcement agencies. Those are like real guns. All concerned citizens, we urge you to be on the lookout for these most wanted criminals now at large in our community. Suspect number one. How is about we all go on a stick up? George Burns, formerly known as Joe the Dressmaker Harris, age 78. Armed with a ridiculous plan. Suspect number two. What are we going to stick up? Art Carney, also known as Hal, the singing bartender, McCaffrey. Age, 71. Armed and considering the idea. Might as well make it a bank, right? Yes, so, my boss. Willie, what do you think? Suspect number three, Lee Strasberg, also known as Willie the Cabbie Goodman. Age, 74. Armed and going along for the ride. Whatever you say, Joe. You recognize me. Lee Strasberg? No, this is too big. Too big. Too big. Too big. Too big. this one. Too small. That's it. That's not it. Let's start again. Let's start from <laughs> scratch. The bank can be closed. Wait a minute. These three men have been convicted of first-degree comedy and sentenced to going in style. Why don't you look snappy? Warner Brothers presents George Burns, Art Carney, and Lee Strasberg in Going in Style, a comedy in the first degree. Ooh, little touch there. Uh... It was fun. I, I wasn't blown away. It was fun. You want to throw up the poll for that? I, let me ask you this. Because <clears throat> you said that Sparkle Pony submitted the other movie as well, right? Yeah. Do you want to watch both of them? Here, we'll watch both, but uh, we'll vote on this one. Okay. What's it called? Uh, going in Style. Okay. Going in Style. So throw up the poll. We're we're gonna we'll talk about this in this one. So Lee Strasberg is like a famous acting teacher, right? Like it's, it's Stella Adler and Lee Strasberg are the two major schools of acting. I think Lee Strasberg was like a big uh, um method acting guy. <laughs> Chaos Theory 97 says if they're getting tried for comedy in the first degree I can assure you they're going to quit it she's kissed them all with her tongue she's a walking venereal disease Chase <laughs> I'm seeing an overdrawn balance in your daily checking yeah my mortgage payment tripled I disclosed the possibility of a rate hike during your refi do you remember that now. The three men walked off with $1.6 million. They choreographed it like a dance. A conga line right in the prison. They didn't get caught. Semtex no Steel has frozen all pension payments. No I'm thinking of robbing a bank. I'm thinking about buying a Ferrari. I just got drafted by the Knicks. Good week for everybody, huh? I don't know Williamsburg Savings will manage the liquidation of the fund. Sp supporting Bank actor award movie. destroyed this country and nothing ever happened to them. I want to rob that bank. Let's go get our money back. Yeah. You pick exactly what's on the pension, right? That's all I want to do. What if we get more? We give it to charity. <laughs> it's time for a practice run. We'll be right back. I don't want to stay in the car. It's hot in here. <laughs> Hello, Al. I gotta get some chicken thighs. Breasts are better than thighs, don't you think? <laughs> Never has anybody walked off with a whole pork loin. Jump in a basket. Who the hell you think I am? E.T.? I don't know what's going on in the world anymore. <laughs> Look what you did to Cindy. She's looking like a Colombian drug mule. We're gonna need professional help. You think? You 5-0? We're practically 8 0. From now on, you communicate by texting. How do you work with that button? It's a touch screen. I'm groping it all over, nothing happens. Reminds me of the time we went to Reno. We ate like kings. We were kings. We still are. Ladies and gentlemen. Halt! Halt! 
What are you chasing me for? Don't make me take That was right by where this I lived in Brooklyn. This is not an admission of guilt. I am just tired. Don't stop me! That's in, uh, in Williamsburg on Grand Street. If you had to watch one of those, which one did you watch? The older one. Really? I would go with the newer one. I like Alan Arkin. I think he's hilarious. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, he's good. I just think the the older one was, like, snappier. I don't know. Um, unfortunately, I didn't get to see... Oh, wait. Did that say um, Zach Braff? Wait. Hold on. Oh, good catch. You love Zach Braff, don't you? <laughs> it's a Zach Braff production. Oh! oh! What are you chasing me for? Don't make me tell you. This is not an admission. And Margaret and Alan Arkin act together a lot. I didn't know that. It directed was by Anne Margaret, Zach Braff. Was she in Tommy and Margaret? I don't know. Um, I did not see what the poll came up with. <laughs> oh, the the poll was seventy one percent yes. I think. Are you serious? Unless it was seventy one percent no. But yeah, oh wow! I think it was seventy-one percent. Yes, and Margaret was in the baked bean scene in Tommy, right? Tommy's. I remember mom. when I saw that, I was like, "This lady's hot." <laughs> I mean, she's still she's pretty yes. hot, and and even in that, as an old lady, um, I am going to give it a point. The original one, I, 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 I think it was funny. I like that scene at the table when they're f playing with the bullets, you know? Yeah, because it seemed very like they were just going, you know? It, it seemed. Uh, unscripted you know they were just throwing it in there like here's a loose idea of what the scene's gonna be yeah i like the whole i found it so fascinating that it was lee strasberg that was cool um what else so is i'm gonna i'm gonna give besides. that a point two so that's four points for that one um who submitted that that was sparkle pony that's what that's what I'm glad about. movies like this exist because one day I'm going to be very old and I'm going to want to watch a movie like this with actors I loved as a young man having fun with one more time. Yeah. I mean, it happens when you're in your 40s. You're like, I'll watch all these old actors that played dads and stuff play like super grandpas and stuff. Um... What did going out? What did batteries not included get? Was that three? I think three. Okay. Um, that reminds me though of, of one. I uh... okay. Here we go. <laughs> I don't. I. Uh... The context got me on this one, so I was like, all right. You ready? Yep. In the northwest coast of Scotland, in the deepest, darkest highlands, where evil lurks. <laughs> and tragedy unfolds. There lies a secret. I'm all alone now. I will find you. They need only one man. The Guardian of the Highlands. A grandpa. Sir Sean Connery is Sir Billy. <laughs> my name is William. Billy to my friends. It's a race against time. And the villainous policemen are against them. Who will get to Bessie first? Ah! Can this octogenarian and his goat save the day? With Alan Cunning as Gordon the Goat, together they will take you on the ride. 
keep you at the edge of your seat. <laughs> oh my god, the voiceover. Sir Sean Connery is Sir Billy. The kind of grandma we all wish we had. Oh my, that sub sure reminds me of another adventure. Ah, holy shit that's uh, crazy that that's a movie that exists yeah i mean i just want to remind you guys that uh you know you can still donate to mars uh we're only trying to make the movie look better uh we're already gonna get the movie yeah, made that's... but we're trying to get it to look better uh, that's a really good example of that like how more funding makes a movie better because if you point that out you're like this is underfunded you know like well, they could have used more money to- <laughs> also I, I think it's really ambitious I, I think we're definitely not aiming for the same thing that this movie's like this movie was trying to look like a Pixar movie yeah. uh, and everyone was like hey look this is pretty good right <laughs> and no gifted oh. two tier subs immediately uh <laughs> this looks pretty good right uh Mar- mars is just like a different style altogether so uh it's it's it definitely has that like the titanic 2 kind of uh look to it too um so the context let me read the context for yeah it, was that I, jimmy I, neutron it looked like jimmy neutron was all over I that did, yeah um let me see. All right. So somebody wrote extremely bizarre animated movie about a grandpa, which happens to be Sean Connery's last role. Fuck the rest of my submissions. This one's a winner. <laughs> so, um, I, I, it's crazy. So it's like Sean Connery and, uh, Alan Cumming are in it, you know, like real actors. It looks janky as fuck. It's so weird. The voiceover parts are hilarious. Sir Sean Connery is a grandpa. They say Sean Connery's name a lot in it. Like, is that Jimmy Neutron there? Wikipedia search. This film is Scotland's first CGI animated feature film. Voodoo Cowboy. Tell me how many have been made since this one. <laughs> yeah, why does he have a skateboard? It doesn't make sense. None of it makes sense. That's why it's great. Skateboarding is huge in Scotland. I love in the beginning there's like a crash because the grandpa doesn't come in until like later but then it's like somebody crying like oh. And it's like, what the fuck is going on? Uh, I heard a really funny story about Sean Connery once that uh, I have a friend whose dad is like a, a fairly big actor, not like huge, but uh, and he was doing a movie with Sean Connery. And so she went down to set one day and he's he was like, hey, do you want to meet Sean Connery? And uh, she was like, Sure. Uh, and so they go to Sean Connery's trailer. He knocks on the door. Sean Connery's like, come in. And then they come in and Sean Connery stands up and he's all like, his like pants are undone and he's all like half out of, uh, like when he sees that, like, it's like, oh, it's like, uh, my, like another actor and, and this, this, you know, like 10 year old girl, uh, he gets all like flustered and he's like, putting his pants and he like it's like trying to be like good host and he's like uh uh w- and grabs a bowl behind him and like is like would you like some fruit <laughs> and just like uh but or like you had to see my dick picturing like like undone like half-dressed john connery offering like she was like he was the most like old grandpa i've ever seen someone <laughs> Somebody said, somebody in chat said that had a budget of five million dollars. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ouch. You think about that. Um, <clears throat> chat gave that, I think, um, it was like 51% yes. Uh, uh, is that right? 
I went fifty one percent. Animation ain't cheap. Yeah, correct. He said five million. Didn't say five million. What? Um, I'm going to give that two points. I'm going to give that, that two was points too. Crazy. That was fun. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy. So, and chat gave it one point or two points. I think two chat points. gave it. Can someone tell 51? me? Was it fifty one percent? Um. Uh. Okay. So that's four, five, six points. <laughs> that's a six point trailer and that goes to Big Row 1 which Big Row 1 will point out one trailer boys I think two two or three weeks ago um, and they also did that that fan edit of that <laughs> um, uh, uh, Eat Love Bigfoot Yeti thing like and I, I thought that was a good job so good on you <clears throat> Big row one on the board. Uh, was there a vote on the Morgan Freeman movie? There wasn't because there wasn't. Of, both of them was it was a remake, right? And they were both submitted by the same person. We were just watching that one for the fun of the, for the love of the game. All right. When you're in need of a little peace and quiet, she's cured. Well, that's a word psychiatry doesn't throw around the way we used to. When you need to forget. I'm thinking of taking on a, a little trip back to the islands. What could be better than a return to the wilds? We had our honeymoon there and she, she loved it. I can't fix it. I think we'd better check out this island and see what we can find. What could be more inviting than a return to the past? Hey, you guys, look at this. It's like we just walked into the 1920s. You guys, I think we better take it easy, huh? <laughs> That's all right, children. Been meaning to get rid of them old things anyhow. These are the backwoods where time has a way of standing still. Please don't leave me, baby. I'm going to be 12, and I'm going to have a birthday party. But what harm could you come to playing with the children? Weirdos! Are you a bunch of weirdos? I want you to see my baby. Get back to the old American way. There will be no devil's play in this house. That child never does finish a chore. Is your friend coming or not? You gotta have patience, son. You should learn to read the good book. He who waits gets. American Gothic. Welcome home. <laughs> You're it! And ain't none of you never gonna get off this island! Steiger, Yvonne DiCarlo, Michael J. Pollard, Michael J. American Pollard Gothic, Bonnie and everybody's yeah, welcome to stay. Pleased to meet you. I'm sure. <laughs> American Gothic. <laughs> That's a great way to end that trailer. Oh, that one kept going. I, don't know, I really like that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that one's a yes for me too. Uh, um, I feel like it's it's like a Texas Chainsaw Massacre if it took place in Maine. Yeah, I thought that was cool. Yeah, it was very creepy. Uh, has anyone in chat seen that? I thought that chick was Kristen Wiig when she was where's. The tiny hands. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Avalanche Fan 84, how was it? <laughs> there were no goths in it at all. Not a goth movie. <laughs> um, <clears throat> the trailer looked cool. 
I liked it. The pace it was like slow. Um, the family was creepy. Was that was Lily Munster was as like, Ma? Oh, was it? It was Resident Stevel. Do not talk trash on Cape Cod. If if you can you can get out of here if you want to talk trash on Cape Cod. You're, I'll let you talk trash on Cape Cod. You're talking to two Cape Cod boys here. You know that? <laughs> um, you well, be- you three better th- consider who you're talking to. <clears throat> here's here's a Cape Cod horror movie. Um, it's it's there's like um, some taint in heroin, and it starts <laughs> turning junkies into zombies. Right. <laughs> there's and, a, a uh, taint in it yeah there's tainted heroin <laughs> and it's just zombie junkies so they're zombies but they already and the zombies and the non-zombie junkies kind of like blend together and you can't tell who's who there you go write it up um, I'm going to give that two points I really really liked it I'm gonna uh, give chat that. gave it three points I'm going to also give it two points I thought it was great I have a points. Who submitted that? Resident Steve, where did you live? I'm waiting. Dox him. Dox him. Uh, let's see. Uh, so wait, who submitted that? That was... American Gothic? American Gothic, wait. Oh, uh, that was Bogus Anomaly. Do we know that name? I don't think so. What are you doing? Huh? Welcome to the boards. Um, <clears throat> I'm ready for mine, Sam. Are you ready for me? Yeah. That was a 7.1, right? Two, two, three. Yeah. yeah. Resident Evil, you lived in Sandwich? Have we gone over this? He's mentioned this before. Okay. No, you just... You said, fuck you, I don't care. Oh, um, mate, that I, sounds I was like, like Whoa. That sounds like me. Um, you guys went to high school together. Oh, we did. Stevel. Stevel? Wait, yeah. the Stevel? Resident Stevel. Not Res- Stevel Knievel. Oh. He was a few years above him. Resident Stevel from high school. <laughs> yeah. Uh, all right. Uh, all right. Zombie Bender gifted bogus and <laughs> There are things in heaven and on earth beyond the comprehension of man. Call them what you will. The occult. Witchcraft. Satan! Behold thy supplicants! Devil worship. The Arise and come in, child. Enter for yet another lifetime in the Brotherhood of Satan. anybody from getting in around Hillsboro for the last three days. 26 people slaughtered in a little over 72 hours. Six families wiped out. All those kids missing. <laughs> a story of contemporary family witchcraft in California. Witches. Black artisans, celebrants of the Black Mass. Each missing child was in a specific age group from six to nine. Nice. Come in, children. My baby! My baby! Not your baby! 
our baby, Satan's baby! The Black Mass, the blood sacrifice, the unholy ritual. It's all here, as a coven of witches holds California town in the grip of terror. Satan, help us! <laughs> What'd you think? I loved that. Yeah. I loved that. Uh, that was pretty dope. Um, um there's a lot of I would say this that I, I um liked about that. The Brotherhood of Satan is what it was called. I love those old like optic effects, like that the the title, how it does like the swerving. Yeah. Like they actually like had to, to do that they actually like I don't know exactly what it was but it's like back in the day like if you wanted to like do a slow motion shot you had to like take your film and like literally like take each frame and like kind of double them up if you didn't like already or like a freeze frame you had to like expose a bunch of frames and get that done and that was done in like the same kind of way where they're actually like <laughs> yeah uh-huh. Stevel says, kind of seems like there's more women in the Brotherhood of Satan. Probably should have been called <laughs> the Sisterhood of Satan. That's, that's a good, uh, good point. Come on, Stevel. Look who's running the place. <clears throat> the voting is up right now if you Some want to vote. Sick ass. I, I liked dude. it. Um, I thought it looked really cool. The main Satan guy was funny. Um, like, in all the old people. And the, what I know is funny part is like the one old lady is like, and it's like, a little old to have a baby. What's going on there? Well, what's going on? Like it might yeah. be, it might be that it's like one of the one of the kids that was kidnapped, and or that woman really, is like looking after that kid and is taken. Like it could be really cool. Thirty five people voted yes for that, making it eighty five percent. Wow. Six people said no to that movie. I thought that was so rad. Here's okay. my thing. I'm definitely giving it two points, but it's also like weird. I've never heard of it. I like the trailer, the beat, the voiceover stuff. I would go bonus point for that. I would go bonus point. And not oh, oh, you oh, are doing it. <laughs> oh, wait, no, this way. Two fists become Sorry. one. I went, I went to the camera. I went to the camera. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, it doesn't matter. Um, yeah, we're going to bonus point that. Uh, uh, also, I, I want to start this, and then this might be like people. This might get me some wow Sams here. Okay, this might get me some wow Sams as far as a point of, of topic. Wasn't it like, wasn't it fun in movies when old people could take children, and you weren't automatically like they're raping the children? You know, like. <laughs> Like, now we know what happens. <laughs> the innocence is lost. The innocence has been <laughs> lost. We all know that, like... But there was some f- fun about it. Like, it's dark, and you kind of get... It's there that, like, oh, that's no... They shouldn't have those kids. But now, if you yeah. made a movie today, and it was a bunch of old people, like... And they're like, oh, we gotta get all these kids. Come here, little girl. You're like, oh, you're yeah, like, they're, wrong. they're yeah. raping those kids. That's a sexual thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We know well, they're sacrific- what's going on. They're adrenochroming them, right? <laughs> they're, like, sucking the, the chemicals out of their brain stems. Yeah. That's that's what's holding up the Mary Poppins remake. <laughs> <laughs> they keep reshooting it, and they're like, it just doesn't seem right. Something's <laughs> off here. <laughs> No, I mean, the problem was... <laughs> not, not, I can say. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's so funny. <laughs> um, but yeah, I thought that was rad. That's, that's wow. That's a... Um, that's a... a, a uh, full-on eight-point trailer there. Who submitted that? Oh, wait, I, I picked that. You picked that, yeah. Um, who submitted that? Um, what it was called... Um, the Brotherhood of Satan, uh, submitted by Marissa. Welcome to the trailer, boys, Marissa. You just bottomed out. 
topped out? I don't know what the word is. Bottom out was not the right thing. Um, yeah, I thought that was fun. Um, in like a entertainment way of a trailer. Not like I think murdering children is fun. I've never done that. Uh, all right. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> now you've kicked off this whole thing in chat where people are like, yeah, that's right. Previously, like, kids just got murdered. Now it's like kids <laughs> don't get murdered without somebody assuming they also got raped. <laughs> well, like, now, uh, Mike, now we know better. Brought Mike Myers and Jason. Yeah, did these guys... Did these guys no, now, I mean, that's the thing. Now, like with the, Friday the, the 13th without the rape because people be like, like, he's just going to murder them. Nightmare on Come on. Right? I mean, I, mean, I thought Nightmare that was Street too. That was in the the Nightmare on Elm Street thing. Was that like he was like raping? But that like in the original one, they just didn't touch it. Oh, but I think. I mean, did so? I, I I don't really remember. Is it the the people of the town killed Freddy Krueger because he was a rapist? I think that's the insinuation, right? But like, huh. it was an insinuation before, and then I think uh, in the remake they they like say as much, and like the audience was like, "Oh, guys, too far." <laughs> but it, it oh, didn't happen. Ew. But he didn't. But what was it? Was it like the townspeople like were overzealous and killed him, or he actually did do it? Because no, he actually in the did dream do it. things. But he doesn't sexually assault them in like his dream murders, right? Don't you think he would do <laughs> not, that? Not, he... not the teens. I'm not no, defending the Freddy teens. Krueger. The teens are too old for him. Okay. He's okay. getting revenge. Why does he get revenge on the teens though, and not like the kids? Don't you think Freddy Krueger, if he had the power to like invade people in their sleep, it would be like the adults that killed him, or like I'm not even gonna say the or like part. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, let's move on to the next trailer uh, let me see Observatron says the teens are the siblings of the child victims I thought the, the teens were the siblings of the people who like killed Freddy Krueger the children of the people right not Did the, he murder the kids? Well, this is going off track. I probably should just watch the movie. <laughs> um, I, I've mentioned before how we used to like rent space at a movie theater. We'd watch like horror movies with some friends, and like we would just be like, "Let's watch a movie on the theater on the on the big screen." And I was always so excited about it. And we paid money, and, and people would donate and stuff too. But it was like it was just a fun thing to do. And they had beer at the theater. And I would fall asleep like all the time. I was so just like burned out. I'd be like, "Oh yeah, Freddy Krueger, never seen this." And I'd be like, "I always fall asleep during movies. If I watch it, if I start a movie at ten, I'm watching seventy five percent of that movie. I'm just like getting into that third act and just passing the fuck out." Okay, Silent Ally, Silent Alley says Freddy bad touched the kids. The parents killed him. He haunts the kids he bad touched when they are teens. But he doesn't bad touch them as teens. Far from the beaten path lies a friendly little inn. Girl, you better come get your cleaner before I chop his head off. Where folks come from miles around. Hold on. It's so sad to be alone. Relax and make new friends. Honey, down. I'm Tanya. I'm Bill McWilly. Nevin Crenshaw. This is my cousin, Chrissy. Your relative? Cousin. Are you okay, man, Revan? Sorry. Crenshaw? Evelyn? <laughs> Tell your little wife I'll have a surprise for you. Did anyone else just think of uh, where no one ever complains? You need 
we got to go to bed after him. We have to. And get my ass killed for some crazy white woman. No way, O.C. Where people are dying to get a reservation. Hello? Hello? And any moment might be checkout time. I'm getting out of here. Is this any way to run a motel? Bet your life it is. Mountains Up Motel Massacre. The Mountaintop Motel Massacre. <laughs> My favorite part of the trailer is there's like a good 30 seconds where like the characters are introducing themselves in different scenes and they're saying all their names. And then it, it keeps going on and then people are just calling names of other characters. Yeah. <laughs> You know that part? No, yeah, yeah, that was yeah. Really weird. Uh, can, we, can we watch that part? Can you back it up. Yeah, yeah this is, it, it reminded me of uh, Married with Children, not Home Improvement. This is Al. It's straight up Peggy Bundy. Far from the beaten path lies a friendly little inn. Girl, you better come get your foot on before I chop his head off. Where folks come from miles around. Hold on. It's so sad to be. Relax and make new friends. My name's Al. I'm Tanya. I'm Bill McWilly. Nevin Crenshaw. This is my cousin, Chrissy. Your relative? Cousin. Are you okay, man, Raven? Sorry. Crenshaw? Evelyn? Tell your little wife I'll have a surprise. Ow! Straight up, uh, Mary with children. Glad you caught the, like the last is. final episode. She's wearing a shirt, okay? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. That was fucking funny, dude. Um, <laughs> what was it called? M- Hilltop? Mountaintop Massacre? Uh, Mount- Mountaintop Motel Massacre? Oh, or as love uh, lots of people called it, uh, Triple M. <laughs> uh, what do you think of that? I liked it. I'd give that a two point. That's like right up my alley. Al. E. I like silly trailers where it's like, you know. Like it doesn't change anything to the story. It doesn't give parts of the story, but it's just a weird edit of the trailer where they're just like, like introducing each other, but not in the same scene. Just going back, just people saying their own names. Reverend Clarence Crawford, <laughs> yeah, Chrissy. Uh, that that just it just wasn't needed. I liked it. That was funny. Uh, I'm gonna give it one point. And and you gave it two points. I gave Chat it two points. Is, ooh, it's neck and neck. It's 15 votes to 17 votes. If you haven't voted, I would check it out now. 16 votes, eight, 17 votes to 18 votes, 19 ooh. to 17, 20 to 17. Starting to tilt. Starting to tilt. I, oh, 23 to 18, 19 to 23. Neck and neck, and it loses by 55%. No, that is it's one, one point. point. 23 people. That was close. It is funny how we have like close to 200 people watching, and yet, like, we never really get more than like 50 people voting. <laughs> so, if you like something, uh, you go for it. That was a pan wall. Pan wall. Welcome back. Um, so it's two from me, one from you, two from chat, or one from chat? One from chat, one from me. Yeah, okay. Oh, 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 hey. Okay. You ready? Yeah. No, 
now that you're retiring, what are you going to do? I'm free full time to work on what God wants me to do. I feel led to go back to college. I'm looking for Hickerson Hall. We normally only have students under the age of 20 in the dorms. I heard there's a senior citizen staying in my dorm. That's Ty Bounds. He's not even close to being that old. Why are you going to college? I mean, shouldn't you be hanging around the Senior Citizen Center, playing bingo and bridge and drinking in shirt? Well, the fool has said in his heart that there is no God. Are you calling me a fool, Mr. Bounds? Seems to me you just called me one a second ago. So are you this much trouble in all your classes? I'm an equal opportunity troublemaker, but you know, most classes don't teach something as debatable as evolution. <laughs> <laughs> you see it in the back, it's like evolution, creationism, evolution. As he debatable teacher, as right? evolution. Oh, uh, you remember 2025? I, oh, we have to do a watch party for that. I feel like I got burned on this because that's such a Sam trailer. <laughs> uh, I saw Gramps go to college and I was like, yeah, that. <laughs> oh my God. All right, so that's a sequel, though. <laughs> yeah wait let me let me i think it's have like have you seen it no i'm not if you are new to trailer boys uh we have our our lanes that we like to go in and sam loves these ridiculous christian movies yeah i just think they're so bad and they're so like they have such a uh, uh, loose tie to reality. They're so not self-aware to society. I would say, like, like we watched this Christian trailer the other week uh, for a movie called Twenty Twenty Five, and the movie was made in Twenty Twenty, and it was about how in Twenty Twenty Five, Christianity will be illegal. We'll use the pandemic as an excuse to make Christianity illegal and uh, it looked amazing like yeah, and like the problem with this that. country is that people are trying to make Christianity illegal like yeah there's a fucking lot of Christians here <laughs> like mm -hmm. I, you know I'm fine if you're Christian but like it's insane if you think that we're trying to make Christianity illegal. Like, look around. Well, Bogus Anomaly says they made a Go. sequel to Gramps Goes to High School. <laughs> All right. So here, here's the the, uh, the the original. Mrs. Douglas, if the bank doesn't receive the balance due by the 15th, we have no choice but to foreclose. I have got two kids. What am I supposed to do with them? But you don't recognize my voice. It's been 20 years since I've heard it. I, I was just praying for you. I'm in trouble and I need your help. Well, if you're gonna rent me a room, then just tell them that you're helping me out. I'm in financial difficulty and you're gonna help me out by letting me move in with you. My father is having some financial difficulties. I was gonna let him come in and live with us for a little while. There's not enough room in the whole house for the two of us, much less my room. I think I could meet the four of you in a two mile relay. When did the Alzheimer's kick in, Gramps? Have you always been delusional? Bring it on, dudes. Not the talk, but the walk. I don't do work for nothing. Me neither. How much you want to bet on those skinny old legs? How about this wager? If I win, you boys give up the smokes. <laughs> Look how slow he is. We've got this in the bag. <laughs> that old man is bionic. He's a machine. A running machine. <laughs> No man, if I just watch and see how much his life changes in the next year. Thank you for clarifying that it was a running machine. It reminds me of the agony that Jesus went through on my behalf. Whenever races get tough, it's painful. <laughs> it helps me keep going. Whenever races Same get with life tough? itself. There's no time to find oh no. <laughs> in Gramps' shoes. <laughs> Do you see the way he was running too? <laughs> he was doing that like Naruto run. <laughs> like like itself. All the way forward. It's painful. <laughs> yeah. It helps me keep going. Wait, where's the That old man is bionic. Where's the with life itself. There's no time to find. 
How about this wager? <laughs> if I win, Watch the smokes you boys give up the smokes. <laughs> Look how slow he is. We've got this in the bag. Th that old man is bionic. He's a machine, a running machine. <laughs> Just watch and see how much his life changes in the next year. It reminds me of the agony that Jesus went through on my behalf. Whenever races get tough, it's painful. But I probably look much sillier running. Oh, the other day. Wait, I want. I want to sh uh, show this. This slide. Him on the phone is. He's an amazing actor. This guy's an amazing. Do with them. But you don't recognize my voice. It's been 20 years since I've heard it. I, I was just praying for you. I'm in trouble and I need your help. <laughs> it's been... T it's like, what emotions are he? is he trying to convey? Like, it's been 20 <laughs> years. Like, just astonishment? I haven't <laughs> heard this voice in 20 years. Well, if you're going to rent me a room, then just tell them that you're helping me out. I'm in financial difficulty, and you're going to help me out by letting me move in with you. My father. I'm going to help. <laughs> oh, that's so good. Jesus All right, Christ, so. Uh, I would even, how, you can only give it two points. You can't give it more than that, Sam. <laughs> I here's the thing is is I do like the Gramps' shoes better than Gramps goes to college, but they're both good. I'm just gonna give them two points though. I'm not just gonna push points. for the thing. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you wouldn't get it. I'm gonna give it a one point, Chai gave it one point, that's four points. And that is from All right. Funeral Cake. Quick quick story. Ooh. Okay. Uh so yesterday I went on a jog, uh, went for a run, and part of my run, I'm on like a main throughway here in, in Los Angeles, uh, it's Los Feliz Boulevard, always cars up and down it. Now as I'm running, my saliva was feeling like, kind of like thick, you know, and it was like, oh, I, I need to spit. You know that feeling? Like you're like working out, you're like, oh, I gotta spit. And so I like really just was like all right i just gotta huck this and i like spit and it just did not leave my mouth and it just wrapped and like i it like hit my arm and i was just trailing from my my mouth to my arm this like trail of spit and i'm like trying to rub it off and there's just like all this traffic by me and everything so sometimes sometimes when you're running you just gotta you just gotta like not give a shit what people like you're doing it for you not for them I can picture like somebody driving by and be like that dude just fucking spit on himself yeah yeah totally that's yeah. gross uh, uh, Funeral Cake is a friend of yours right and he submitted like one of the my favorite trailers we watched oh yeah show. yeah he submitted uh what was that the exterminators or something oh the, is that what was uh, the president's office one was not his oh no no that was brennan oh uh, okay okay the uh last week he he funeral cake submitted uh me and funeral cake are writing together so i'll tell him what the theme is and he'll throw down uh the exterminators from last week yeah i think that's what it was called the exterminator the one with the mandroid which was an amazing yeah trailer. yeah oh, yeah 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 that was pretty rad and i love there's like the one part there's like the boat and the mandroids on the boat <laughs> yeah <laughs> the mandroid on like the wooden raft yeah um all right so they got four points <laughs> four points great uh Let's see, funeral cake. Okay. All right. Uh, cool. Uh, it's your trailer. Okay. No, no, no. I picked. Uh, I picked that one. That's oh, you I, did. I, oh, I burned. Oh, that's funny. I was gonna pick that one. That's why I was like, oh, that's funny. Um, I got another one. Oh, there was one that I noticed that I was like, oh, I'm gonna do this, but 
Sorry, give me a second. I have one that's just bizarre weird. Uh oh where was the Yeah, go go with yours. Go with yours. Alright. Okay. was a great time to be alive. It was a time of great change and great courage. It was a time of great men and great women. Like the Great Scout and Cat House Thursday. Ladies and gentlemen, let me have your attention just for a moment. I give you the famous scout and Indian fighter, Mr. Sam Longwood. Starring Lee Marvin as Sam Longwood. They didn't call him the Great Scout for nothing. <laughs> then again, maybe they did. Perhaps I should introduce myself. Oliver Reed as Joe Knox. My name is Knock Down Soldiers with a Stick. His mother was a squaw. <laughs> His father was the U.S. Cavalry. Well, the Army teaches its men to love the enemy. Yes. In groups. Robert Culp as Jack Colby. The only man to crawl under a snake's belly in a top hat. You're lying. How do you know? Your lips are moving. Elizabeth Ashley as Nancy Sue. She never met a man she didn't like, except her husband. How are you feeling, my love? I see. We're about the same. Strutter Martin as Billy. When it came to dirty old men, no one could touch him. In fact, no one wanted to. Dirty old girl. I'm gonna cheat you once and for all and keep your filthy hands on me! Sylvia Miles as Mike. Mike. With her, doing pleasure was a business. Oh, yeah. And Tay Lenz as Thursday. She was a very good little girl. I want candy. Of course you do. Twenty dollars worth. And for twenty bucks, she was even better. That's the most disgusting thing I ever heard. The Great Scout and Cat House Thursday. It's filled with great thrills, great chills, great love, great ladies. What are you doing? Your tradition. Always take hostages. And great fun. Yeah. Scout and Cat House Thursday. They were not forgotten by history. Uh -uh. They were left out on purpose. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Um. The the context and the sound effects somehow make it more offensive. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, the weirdest trailer for Unforgiven, said Grimworld. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think that movie was called Trouble in Whore Town. <laughs> That's a weird name. The Great Scout and Cat House Thursday. Man, that was weird. That was weird how that trailer ended with that dude punching that woman <laughs> off, off a cliff, cliff to her death. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. I wonder if he says something like, "What is the theme tonight?" I don't even know anymore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, you wouldn't. <laughs> the theme tonight. Uh, old people. It's not child murder. Yeah, it's old people. Um, it's weird. All these old people movies are real weird. Uh, I'm going to give that one point just because it was weird, but it wasn't like weird enough where I'm like, yes. Uh, but it was it was bizarro. Uh, and the, the voiceover part of it was really just funny. It was like this, just this guy yelling and kind of like making fun of the movie. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Uh, uh, I mean, I'm, I'll never watch that movie, but I'm glad I saw the trailer, so it's worth the point. <laughs> so trailer Boys is all about, yeah, I'll give it a point. 
Uh, Chat gave it one point, so that's three points, and that goes to... My name is actually Caleb. There you go, Caleb. Three points for you. All All right, Sam, did you figure it out? Yeah, I I picked one. All right. Once upon a time, four of the best pilots in the U.S. Air Force trained to fly into space. That's where we're going. And they flew at the speed of sound to the very top of the sky. They were destined to be the first. Ladies and gentlemen, I would like you to meet the first American to cross into outer space. But our country had other plans. Now, did we? Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. 11 days ago, atmospheric tracking determined that Russian satellite Icon will re-enter the Earth's atmosphere in 30 days. Now, the guidance system on this thing is a dinosaur. The only men for the job. Is there anyone still alive who can fix this thing? Are the boys. I can't fill up a space shuttle with geriatrics. Clock's ticking, Bob, and I'm only getting older. NASA wants to send us into space. (laughs) I told him I'd only do it if the original team did the job. (laughs) I'm gonna need to pray about this. Why the hell not? You and your entire crew will have to meet the exact physical requirements as any other astronaut here. Go! These men are the pioneers of this business. Damn, Jerry. They were around when rockets were born. Stick to their protocol, will you, Hawk? My kill! Sock it to I have never met a kid who didn't dream of being an astronaut when he grew up. You ever met a kid that wouldn't grow up? Thank you, God. Welcome to space, Frank. You'd get a load of this. General, just what sort of modifications have your people made here? I'm not getting this crew killed, you included. You miss you're never gonna make it back to the ship. You know, I thought this was gonna be hard. And the transmission. I love I love movies like this because like the whole like premise of the movie of a movie like this is that society is like, you know what? That that person's old. Let's just fucking throw them out. Can we throw them out? Can we throw them out? Like, like they have no use to society. If NASA was like, all right, we have this mission, and we're gonna send up this old person, I'd be like, yeah, I bet that old person knows shit. You know, like, I bet like, yeah, it makes sense that that person that probably spent his whole life to get where he is is like going, like, instead of that like twenty three year old, that like. That makes some sense to me. I'm not questioning that. But, like, in this movie, this is like that, like, uh, you know, like, making Christianity illegal thing where it's like, it starts off and everyone's like, fucking old people are so fucking worthless. Yeah. Like, look at our (laughs) last two presidents. Like, (laughs) they're like the oldest Um. people ever. Also, it's like in early pandemic when like people were trying to fill out all these uh, unemployment things and all these systems are crashing and like, you know, uh, governors were like going on TV and being like, look, we need COBOL programmers. I know they haven't taught it in like 30 years, but that's the programming language all this stuff is built on <laughs> and everything's fucked up because it's not used to this many people. So please, somebody learn COBOL. And it was like all these like old dudes coming out like yeah i used to program that so (laughs) kind of funny oh that's Uh, that's, yeah that trailer actually made me want to see that movie you know a lot of these i'm like hey i don't see the movie anymore i'm like actually i do like i never thought i would see like a clint eastwood in space movie you know so the Uh, space is hard on the human health all right sure i i assume triple horn ends up hooking up with one of those guys though i just feel like just the way it was and she was like the only one on their side I, I assume, like, has anyone seen the movie? Does, does she get together with somebody? It's it's kind of like one of those, like, uh, um, in the Land of the Blind, the One-Eyed Man, 
yada 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 kind of things where it's like in an old man movie a 45 year old woman is a babe you know (laughs) (laughs) that's hilarious uh Um, sorry, I forgot to put that up. Space Cowboys poll. Did chat like it, Sam? Um, we'll find out. Uh, true, true. Lord of Carbs said, as a young person who's permanently disabled, the scams for disability has really fucked up my life. I got stuck waiting because all these people are doing shit f- claims for disabilities. Meanwhile, boomers are like, back in my day. No, yeah, true. I mean, that's what I'm saying, though, is that, like, I'm not saying that, like, old people rule. I'm saying that, like... <laughs> The, the society we live in caters to old people. We live in a society where old people are hanging on to their jobs way longer than they should. And it's, yeah, like this movie is like, come on, we're too mean to boomers. And like, it's such like, and this was made in the 90s. We were just fucking so nice to boomers then. So you're saying we should be meaner to them now, though, right? Yeah, I'm saying I'm saying that these movies are preposterous because, you know, like we wouldn't be like we wouldn't think it's so crazy that someone that was Clint Eastwood then 90s Clint Eastwood age going on a space mission. That was pre boomers. Yeah. What is that? The greatest generation or some shit? Um, I'm going to give it a point. I gave it two points. What are you doing? Um, I'll give it a point. Who submitted that? <clears throat> that was Schwingles. That's a four pointer for Schwingles. Lord of Crabs got a pacemaker put in. Uh, okay. How's your pacemaker? All right, I'm ready for my next one. Are you ready? How did it go? I mean, he's still here. It's been a month, so I feel it's probably looking good. <clears throat> no, he said less he's than a well week enough ago. well to watch Trailer Boys. Oh, less, less, less than, than a, a week, week ago. I thought it was a month ago. Huh. Hey, there you go. Okay. You ready? Um, yeah. Out for a walk, Coach? Hi, Mitch. Long time no see. How you been? I'm putting Coach in an assisted living. You're a long way out for a walk. Where's your car? Well, I, I'm not sure. I, I parked it around here somewhere. He keeps getting lost. We have to take him to court. Have them declared incompetent. Incompetent? He's just gone senile. My dad says that you're sterile. He said that. <laughs> Jimmy, going to that skate park? If I catch you over there, you're going to be grounded for months. He's been using it on the driveway and the sidewalk. Right, RJ? And the guy that just showed up? It's my grandpa. Hey, guys, is that as hard as it looks? I certainly wouldn't try to. Wait, you remember what I was saying earlier about, like, when... (laughs) When, a, like, it used to be that in a movie when an old person kidnapped a kid, you just like were like, "Oh, he's just taking him." But now it's like <laughs> he's a pedophile. Yeah. This movie suffers from the opposite thing. <laughs> like, for some reason, <laughs> we don't think an old person showing up at a skate park is a pedophile. Here, I don't know. 
Uh, <laughs> looks bad in the well, wrong way. I want to see somebody recut this as a horror movie. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> uh, well, the kids are geriophiles. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, we haven't seen how this trailer ends, though. So let's let's. Uh, your age, Mister <laughs> Dad. What were you thinking? Someone your age on a skateboard? Am I in trouble? Your secret's safe with me. Sweet. I, I'm fine. Really, I'm fine. No, you're not. Do you ever think about running away? Sometimes I wish I could just run, so I didn't have to hear my dad yell at me. What have you been up to? <laughs> you don't get your butt back here right now. A yelling dad is better than an uncle and cousin to hate you. You work. your name? I don't know. Not a questionable activity for a man his age. How many fingers do you see? I don't know. I'm just trying to get him in an assisted living so that nothing serious happens to him. Don't you know anything? Who's on first? What? <laughs> no, 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 no. What's on second? <laughs> Graham! <laughs> oh, it's like a new movie. Grandpa's crazy. Oh, I wish it was called Skate Grandpa. I was really well, hoping. You for... know what's annoying is I feel we got ripped off because there wasn't a single scene of him skateboarding. Yeah, I guess he just—he <clears throat> probably just hangs out at the skate park. I, I... <laughs> Which is <laughs> problematic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey. Also, that <clears throat> like part of it is that he's hanging out at the skate park <laughs> and videotaping the kids. <laughs> 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 That's the whole thing that they leave out of the trailer. That he actually doesn't skateboard. It's overdubbed. You can't be <laughs> masturbating, watching video, and it's just like skateboarding. <laughs> you skateboard? <laughs> you yeah, yes. I don't know. That was pretty amazing. I, I really liked seeing that one. I I'm just all right. Like I I think it's silly and I think it's funny, but I was even if it was like a guy in an old man suit skateboarding. I wanted to see it, and I didn't even get that. So now I'm like, what the fuck? So I, I feel ripped. But uh, uh, was that the guy from uh, Coach? No. J- Jerry Stiller? Or wait. Jerry Van Dyke. No. Jerry Van Dyke, yeah. That wasn't him? It looked like him. Yeah, no. Uh, he might be dead, though, right? Maybe, but that wasn't him. It looked like him, but it wasn't. He didn't even stand on a skateboard. Also, you know, like, even if you're old and skateboarding and all these kids had helmets, wouldn't like the one thing like, oh, I'm going to get into skateboard. Let me put a helmet on. He hits his head so hard. <laughs> <laughs> we should edit Skatefall right into that. <clears throat> okay. Okay. All right. I got one. Well, um, hold on. Uh, oh, okay. Chat has given that a sixty percent, so it's two points for chat. No, 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 sixty percent, no. Oh wow! One point from okay. chat, one, one point, point from, from you. Chat. I think you guys are crazy. That's a two point trailer. I'm glad I, I'm, you know, storing. I'm not going to see it, but I'm storing it away. That that movie exists. That that trailer exists, and I'm going to show people yeah. that trailer. And that's two I think points. it's a good find. Yeah. You know, that that comes to us from STWS. STWS. Okay, cool. All right. Stews. 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 All right. It says treasure, and I just want to read about it. Cliff is an ordinary man. Keep your nose clean, Edwards. I've had it with you. I've asked the sheriff to serve you with an eviction notice. About to discover an extraordinary secret. I did find a story about some lost treasure about this time. But before he can lay eyes on it... You need to help this man out. He really needs it. Before he can see his treasure... This guy couldn't find treasure if it was looking for him. A child without sight must lead him... God gave me 20-20 fingers. It means I can see good with my fingers. ...on an incredible journey... Stop, and let me tell you what the Lord has done for me. ...that might change the way he sees everything. He prays for you every day. You are all he's got. From the producers of Left Behind, the movie, Treasure Blind. You're friends with him? Let me tell you, he made out a whole lot better than you did on that deal. (laughs) Oh my God, look at the cover. (laughs) (laughs) Jesus Christ. That is Sam Uh, Durang. 
That's good. That's some good crappy trailer. That's some good <laughs> crappy trailer. I mean, come on. It's a minute long. We're going to watch it again. It says right. treasure, and I just want to read <laughs> but listen, this is this reminds me. Uh, there's this. I think we've shown it on we've sh- we've shown the the McGriff sketch on stream before, right? Yeah, uh, th- yeah, the one that didn't make it to the show, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, there's always this line that Zach makes fun of, where one of the kids just goes like, "Hey, you want to check out something cool and just the." the shed or something like that and he like just like goes through the line like super fast uh or like hey you want to go swimming or something like that and zach always like kind of comments on it that that's this line in the beginning that's this it says treasure and i just want to read about it it says treasure and i just want to read about it keep your nose clean edwards i've had it with you i've asked the sheriff to serve you with an eviction notice about to discover an extraordinary secret i did find a story about some Lost treasure about this time. Oh, but before he can lay eyes on it, you need to help this man out. He really needs it. Before he can see his treasure. Like, this guy couldn't find treasure if it was looking for him. A child without sight must lead him. God gave me 20 20 fingers. It means I can see good with my fingers. On an incredible journey. Stop and let me tell you what the Lord has done for me. That might change the way he sees everything. Praise for you. You are all he's got. From the producers of Left Behind, the movie, Treasure Blind. You're friends with him? Yeah. Let me tell you, he made out a whole lot better than you did on that deal. <laughs> what does that mean? The producers of Left Behind. You are all he's got. Praise for yank this every day. You are all he's got. From the producers of Left Behind, the movie, Treasure Blind. You're Stop. friends with him. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. He made out a whole lot this better than you did. Two trailers in a row where it's like... <clears throat> I mean, someone's thinking that these kids are getting molested, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, on Punished Walrus has a synopsis. Veteran cabbie Cliff Edwards has nothing in his life except hunting for a legendary stash of Civil War gold. But when Henry, a blind grandson he never knew he had, is dropped in his doorstep, Cliff's like life drastically changes. Cliff doesn't know the first thing about looking after a blind young boy, but Henry doesn't care. He's just happy he has a grandpa and sees everything as a gift from God. I still like how they like, uh, they're like, all right, all right, sight pun, sight pun. Well, he sees. Okay, okay. Uh, before he can find. All right, yeah, all right. Uh, well, what if he sees everything? And it's like, all right, we're going back to seize. We did that one, but okay, sure. I think when he wrote the line about 2020 fingers, he was like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> you done. Uh uh that got two points from chat yeah i'm not giving it a point i'm Fuck giving you. it two points four <laughs> points uh, it was a good trailer it was a good trailer sam during they have your number okay this one just sounds weird um we're getting close to the end of the show i get it now i gotta pick out my weird like you know, it's like Saturday Night Live when, like, the after the news, all the weird trailers happen, or the, all the weird sketches. The 10 to Where's 1. Where chat calls them skits. All the weird skits. All right. You ready? This is, this just seemed weird to me. Oh. No, it didn't work. Oh, weird. no. Huh. Let me try it again. Huh. Huh. Hmm. That's not right. That one didn't work. Huh. Anyway, well, let me choose another one. Then. That one was called Trash Humpers, and it said ultra weird, must watch, fake I, old people. I saw that in theaters. Oh, you did? Yeah, in New York. Tell us about it. Uh, it is... Um, it's not like... I don't know. It's 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 Harmony Corinne. He shot it, I think, in Nashville. 
and it's just him going around at night it, like the whole thing was supposed to be like oh he found this VHS in a uh, um, a dumpster and but like it's just like like that kind of video of like people going around like just like fucking around at night and smashing stuff and, and stuff like that so like a lot of it is him and like two other people in those like kind of old man masks and it's all shot on VHS old man masks going like and grabbing uh, um, uh, fluorescent bulbs and just smashing them in the street at like three in the morning where there's no one out and like going around and it's like not narrative at all just gonna uh, ask it is it a narrative no it sounds like a, a jackass type of thing it's yeah it's, a very it's like jackass. an artsy jackass like it's 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 artsy bad grandpa all right well i'll have to look for it but that looked interesting my next one is this one <laughs> Mike Gable is a tough cop. Too bad. <laughs> who has an instinct for trouble. <laughs> Keaton is an ex-con with a secret. All I want is the guy behind Jake's murder. Put me out on the street. Two days, I'll get you the answer. Now, Gable gets a new partner. And Keaton gets a cop. They've got to find a killer. <laughs> before the killer finds them. Hey! What are you doing? Just shut up and just hold on. Lee Majors, Abe Vigoda, Don Rickles. In Keaton's Cop. Forward and to the point. Um, that's a minute long trailer, and, and we're in there. What I like about it, what, tra- what got me into it, I was like, oh, Abe Vigoda, high body count thing. And what I thought was interesting about the trailer is like, it's not like, it's it's like a straightforward like action movie with these old dudes, but it's not like, and they're so old. It's not like you know that's not part of the the, the plot of the trailer. At least it's not like you can't do action stuff because you're old. You know? Yeah. Uh. What was it called? Keaton's Cop? Yeah, Keaton's Cop. Lee Majors was the $6 million man. No. Uh, now, actually, if you look at him, uh, it's probably an accurate description of uh, the amount of work he's gotten done. <laughs> Pull up a picture. He, he still he, alive? Yeah, he still is. I really hope we got lip filler. He just looks, he looks tight, you know? <laughs> no loose skin. Yeah. Did you see a picture? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I, uh, I liked that. I'm going to give that two points. Cause it was like this fucking action movie. They're like shooting, but nobody's like, I'm too old for this stuff. Or like, Hey old man. It was just like old dudes fucking shit up. This film is terribly dull, Grimmerd says. I'm sure, but you know what? We only had to watch the trailer. I think this week's theme wasn't very well adhered to, but that's easy for me to say as a person who almost (laughs) never submits trailers. (laughs) I I feel it was adhered. Like, old people. Like, Gabe Pagot is old as shit. Or maybe it wasn't there. He looked old, you know? Um, that got 60% now. Wow, that got one point from chat. That's two for me. What did you give it? I'll give it one point. Okay. Uh, three, four points. Keaton's Cop from Bogus Anomaly. Did we already watch a Bogus Anomaly? Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. Again, I don't look at who submits what. I just go with my vibes. It is the concert event 
rock and roll fans have dreamed of their entire lives. You've got to let me know. Should I stay or should I go? There's about seven or so new songs that I want to take a look at. I feel good. Nice. 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 Singing does, does a lot for your whole body. You've got a lot of life. That's what we have, a lot of life. 20, 20, 24 hours ago. Jack is sitting here, we have the possibility that he'll pass a kidney stone for us today. Very warm, enthusiastic welcome to the young at heart. Experience the film that brought audiences to their feet with spontaneous applause at the Los Angeles Film Festival. This is the best performance I've ever seen in my life. Should I give it to gas? They're the rebels, the wild ones, who show the world they can. Learn the whole song. I know we can, can. I think I can, I think I can, I think I can, can, can. That's hard. From Fox Searchlight, the studio that brought you groundbreaking comedies like Sideways, The Full Monty, and Little Miss Sunshine. Comes an event, 80 years in the making. Young at heart. I think I can, 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 I think I can, can, if I want I can, can, think I can, yes I can, yes I can, I know darn well I can, yes I can, can. What song is that? I thought you would know. Um, was Sideways a groundbreaking comedy? Yeah. This is a big. I think I like nominated for Oscars and stuff, right? Yeah, definitely. But groundbreaking comedy. <laughs> Punish Walrus said, "Was Sideways a comedy?" That's what I'm saying. I mean, Moonfall is hilarious, and that's <laughs> groundbreaking, literally. Ooh, I see what you did there. But also, it's. It's so my thing about Woundfall is that it takes itself so seriously. Um, it's not like Sharknado, you know. But it it it's, it feel that's so weird. It's so weird. I loved it. Um, Young at Heart. I was surprised to see a documentary in this list. Yeah. Um, I remember when that came out, and it was like everyone was really into it, but I didn't see it. Um, you know, it wasn't my vibe. But I'm not going to give it a point. Uh, I thought it was fun that it was a, a documentary on this list, and uh, it's that it seemed fun. Um, I liked the. Um, I, I think whenever I watch something like this, because this is like the real palms, you know, like palms is like the like sixty one percent no, so that's one point from chat. Uh, but Palms is like the like old people got together and they were like, let's do this thing. And this is like, this is like a baby wearing a punk t-shirt, basically. It's like, we know the baby doesn't listen to the Sex Pistols, but apparently yeah. you think it's a good idea to have the baby wearing a Sex Pistols t-shirt. And yeah, it, it's like, it's funny that like, at the core of this thing, whenever I watch this, I think about the the adult, the the guy who's putting this together, who's basically it feels like he's using these old people, right? Like it seems like they're having fun, but also at the same time, it feels like he's just like, oh, people are gonna love this. Like he doesn't care about them, but I still, for that reason, I've, I'm curious about that and give it a one point. Old exploitation, yeah. Um, I don't give it a point. No, not me. All right, let me. Uh, there we're running out of time. How many trailers do you think yeah. we should do each? Left. Let's do one more each. 
One more? Okay, shit. That's a lot of pressure. Two more? Two more if you can be fast. All right, two more if I can be fast. Okay, uh, all right. All right, here's my first one for my fast one, and it's going to give me time to do another one. Okay, ready? Okay. Realism is the practice of accepting a situation as it is. What you're saying is what you see is what you get. But what you see is not what I get. They call me lucky. President Roosevelt escaped. How does a hundred-year-old tortoise escape? I hope it turns up soon for Howard's sake. I got this anxiety attack. I fell. Lucky fell down. Let's not make a production out of it. No sign of concussion. Lungs are great even though you smoke. You get much exercise. I walk around all the time. I do five yoga exercises every day. Nice outfit there, cowboy. I was scared to death. I started thinking there's nothing out there. It's all black. The void. Este amor apasionado. Anda turbo el borrotado por volver. Se querer. You have any kids, Lucky? None that I'm totally sure on. You know, most people don't get to where you are. They never get to the moment that you're in right now, where you have the ability to witness what you're going through and clearly examine it. I know the truth, and the truth matters. And you have to face that and accept it. There are some things in this universe, ladies and gentlemen, that are bigger than all of us. And a tortoise is one of them. And very good today. So you get one of these. What do I do with this to get up my ass? How about you just suck it? I think his son looks like someone that's related to him might have made it. John Carroll Lynch. Uh, that looked like a good movie. Uh, you know what? I it didn't make me want to see the movie. I had fun watching it though. See, I I am there. I'll probably watch that. But you know what? Again, I like bad movies. You know, like when movie trailers look ridiculous and shitty, I'm like, yes. Um, John Carroll Lynch is so, that guy from Fargo and a bunch of other stuff. Wait, what's is he not related to David Lynch? No uh, relation. Oh, I don't. Yeah, I mean, that looks like a good movie to me, so I'll probably watch that. But it's not. I'm, I'm gonna give, I'm gonna say one point because it's a movie I want to watch. Um, it doesn't look like hot garbage, and that's where my that's why I really like that two points. What do you th- what do you think of Sam? Uh, I'm gonna give it one point. I thought the, the it was fun as like a trailer, like as like a, a minute and a half short film kind of thing. Are you hungry right now? What? Are you hungry right now? No, no. I'll, I'll, I'll wait. Bye. Thank you. No. Hi, Emily. Nate said hi. Hi, Nate. Emily said hi. All Did right. you tell her I said hi? Yeah, yeah. Uh, okay. So that's... Okay, so... The, point, two points from you, two points from chat, one point from me. It's five points. Oh, one point for me. I, I give it one point. Oh, one point. Oh, okay. So, so it's that's four points. points. Four points. For, okay, for my point. last trailer, wait, I mean, wait. you have two more. But but I want to say, I'm, I'm thinking it's 1776 or... Um, 1741 looks interesting. 1742. From the farthest corner of a distant galaxy and the deepest feelings of the human soul comes a fantasy to fill your heart. I feel tremendous. I'm ready to take all the world. Oh, oh. It is everything you've dreamed of. Uh, Bradley Cooper. It is nothing you expect. Is it? Well, I keep just like, I won't tell anybody. Yeah, right. It's hard to know who to trust. It is the mystery of an awesome secret. Is it, it is yeah. the miracle yeah. of everlasting life. How old was he? Never be sick. 
We won't get any older and we won't ever die. I don't think he's playing old person. Beyond the innocence of youth and the wisdom of age lies the wonder. That's Wilson Brimley, right? Of Cocoon. Yeah. 20th Century Fox presents. And the director of Splash. Oh, that's that shot from uh, uh, Punch, Punch Drunk Love, right? I don't know what you're talking. That's about. on like the poster. Look, fucking Cocoon Jaws. Paul Thomas Anderson. And the director of Splash. Cocoon. I think that might be my favorite Paul Thomas Anderson movie. It's Punch Drunk Love. And you didn't recognize that shot from it? They ripped it. I haven't seen the movie. No. The motherfucker stole it. Oh, those motherfuckers. Uh, uh, point. Uh, I liked it. Oh, did you add? Did you add the points to my last one? Sorry. No, I didn't. Did I add the point to your last one? Oh, you were you were recapping the points. You were like, "All right, that's one," and and so I don't know. Sorry. Um, question. Cocoon. What do you think, Sam? Uh, I'm gonna give. I'm definitely giving it one point. The question is, do I give it two points? What do you think? May, uh, conv- what, what do you like about it? I like that it was. It was solid. It was like a solid trailer. Like it looked good. It had like good moments. The editing was tight. Uh, it was like intriguing the cinematography was really cool i haven't seen that movie forever uh and i'm now like oh what should i rewatch this movie uh was george c scott in that i didn't even recognize him or are you saying um I, I'm going to give it two points. Um, Chat gave it one point. I'm going to give it one point. It just didn't. It was like, oh, yeah, that's cool. And I, I, don't, I don't really remember any of it, you know? So, um, you know. There were stunts. Uh, there was Brian Dennehy. I mean, what else do you need? I'm looking for something Brian, that Brian really Dennehy from FX. <laughs> big fan of FX. Big fan of FX too. Okay. There's like two I'm looking at, and then people keep submitting more, and I'm like, oh shit, oh shit. All right. Um, Uh, someone submitted one that's like no gags great trailer and I'm like yes this looks cool but I'm looking for something I, we just watched Lucky and that's like a good movie and I'm looking for something more weird ridiculous uh, you know I'm looking for my vibe 1825 looks good Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, that looks, that looks fucking weird. Uh, I want to go with this one now. Okay. Uh, I think it's the right one. Let's see. Okay. Oh, it stopped. Did you stop it? No, I didn't stop it. Huh. All right. Do you want me to hit play? Okay, this is weird. So it's an old person taking a kid into the woods and now under, yeah, okay. 
was the one who submitted uh, Cocoon said uh, with the exception of Palms all these movies look hard to masturbate to <laughs> I mean but you did submit Cocoon I bet there's some good stuff in Cocoon you got this guy alone would you be tempted have you ever heard of this movie <laughs> no he'd be dead I'd be in jail I'd suck at playing God come on Contacts in his eyes there. This is a weird, weird movie, dude. That was a, a long trailer. Poison Street production. Yeah, it was a three minute trailer. Um, it was called The Spreading Ground, but it was like, you know, uh, it's just like a, a person walking with a kid. And I was like, oh, we were making jokes about that. And then sure enough, the kid gets murdered. And I was like, oh, uh, <laughs> weird. Uh, <laughs> and then uh-huh. so much more weird shit happened. Um, uh, that, that was long term. The music going through the whole thing was really weird. Yeah. Um, it was like, yeah. Uh, the music sounded really cool. Like at first I was like, oh, this is going to be awesome. Did, I'm so glad we watched this this looks cool and then the music started to be like a kind of like techno-y song and the drums started coming in drums started coming in and then it was like just like so repetitive like the music was like kind of repetitive which was cool at first but then the trailer got repetitive and then it's it was like whoa a lot of weird stuff happened i feel it was like a minute too long yeah a minute and a half too long um I liked it though. Like I'm, I'm happy I picked it because it's fucking weird as shit. I don't really understand what the movie. I assume Dennis Hopper's a cop, and it's funny because it's like it was like a bunch of old guy cops. You know, there was like every copper looked. And some shots of the movie are like, when was this made? Sometimes it looks 80s, sometimes it looks like 60s. But you know, like it was all over the place. Oh Nate, who got the points for Lucky? Uh, Lucky, that was actually submitted fairly early. Oh, that lucky, one. Lucky, lucky. Uh, good word. That was you. That was you. Sorry, I didn't seventy-six percent. No, that's a zero pointer for from them. It's a zero point for me. That's two points for me. Two points. Wow. That's my vibe. It was a weird vibe. <laughs> and I think that was submitted by you. You cannot say anything about the Christian thing anymore. You've, I like weirder fucking movies. You like Christian movies? Big D liquor? Nope, not B Diggly. Big D liquor. Panwall. Panwall submitted that. Huh. Welcome back. Didn't we already watch Panwall? He'll be marrying again when I go. You'll see. Is that right, Daddy? I'm gonna find me a woman for one of them mega shows out in Atlanta. Dad, 
<laughs> Cora and Sam Peek have been deeply in love for 50 years. Think you'll stay? I'll be here. Always. When Sam lost Cora. Don't. Don't do this. It seemed he had lost his reason to live. Everybody's keeping an eye on Mr. Sam. I may be lonely. Doesn't mean I don't want to be on my own. But the love they had for each other. Where'd you come from? Was a spirit that would never die. See my new friend? What? The dog. I haven't seen any dog. She thinks I'm seeing things, doesn't she? <laughs> Where you been all night, eh? That's a ghost dog, ain't it? How come you don't let them see it, huh? Why is that, Al? It's the grief. It's making him go crazy. I'm gonna take a trip. White dog and me. I have to think about the way Granddaddy drives. I'm scared. It's White Dog! Uncle James, that's Granddaddy's dog! Oh, there he is! My dog. She's right here, Daddy. Before the moment, we never would have found you. The Hallmark Hall of Fame presents Hume Cronin. You're gone. Jessica Tandy. I'm still with you, Sam, every day. Thank you. Thank you for coming to me. In a love story for all time. Is this the invisible dog? First time I ever danced with a dog. <laughs> to dance with the white dog. Which is also a euphemism for cocaine. <laughs> you ever dance with the white dog in the pale moonlight? <laughs> yeah. Hey, you want to go in the bathroom and uh, dance with the white dog? <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Uh, that is silly. Uh, you know what? Dogs are great. I love dogs. Dogs are great. Um, I love that movie. Yeah, I'm gonna say I, I'll go two points for that because also like it's like kind of like no, 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 and then all of a sudden you realize no one can see the dog, and you're like, oh, that's great. <laughs> this whole movie where like. It's one thing if someone's like, oh, you're talking to someone who isn't there? Oh, that person's crazy. But, like, it's a white dog. Like, like, if I was hallucinating that a dog was here, I could just go like this. And you'd be like, what are you doing? And I'd be like, ah, uh, nothing. And you would be like, oh, <laughs> Sam's insane. Tyler I'd rather Dogden. hallucinate a white dog than not have a dog at all. You know what I'm saying? True. You should get your own dog. Um, I like hanging out with other people's dogs. I like a la carte dog hanging out. <laughs> I mean, you should get your own dog. I'm just saying. Um, <clears throat> I'll just kidnap somebody else's dog. You know? Oh, you should kidnap that one across the street, the Golden Retriever. I love that dog. That dog's almost my dog anyway. That dog, when, uh, it was, when it was crazy snow, it, like, hung out. It was just l l rolling around in the snow. That got two points from chat. Two points they from chat. That. Two points from me. How many points, Nate? Uh, well, give it two points. All right, that's it made me feel good. That's a feel-good movie. Six points for To <clears> Dance <throat> with the White Dog. Who submitted that? Uh, and that was from Marissa. See, Marissa had to. She had a jailed one that I picked earlier. Oh, really? Oh, sorry, guys. I didn't know. Well, no. I mean, that's the thing. Is like when we're just picking movies based on things. It's you know, it's going to be a net. It's not that you pick two. You know, like I, yeah. I'm not looking at the names. You're like, oh, I can't pick one. Right, I don't think. I don't think we did do a panel. Let's one, do the you vote. Do the trailer of the week. Yeah, trailer of the week. Uh, okay. You look at the scores, and I will pull the poll up. Uh, yeah, no mountain mountaintop massacre was a panel. Oh, I didn't pick that though. Yeah, I picked it, but I'm just... okay. Uh, American Gothic. Uh... Oh, Brotherhood of Satan was a Marissa. That was the Marissa. Um, but that's the other one that's up for the running. American Gothic, Brotherhood of Satan, Sir Billy, and <laughs> To Dance with a White Dog. 
That's the poll. <laughs> ah, panda face killer. What did they say? They say they love me. You don't even know. What did they say about me? What did they say about me? I don't even want to read what they said about you. Damn it, not again. Uh, um, I would like to kidnap. You know, like sometimes people have dogs. Like, have you ever met an asshole dog? Uh, you know, and you're like, oh, yeah, an yeah. asshole. Actually, you had, an, you, you had an asshole dog. But you guys, like, you know, formed a bond. I just had to adjust think, to him, you know? Yeah. I, well, uh, also, I, I, I love Party Dog. Everyone was mean to him, but you helped him, and then he was cool with you. But I would, like, sit on the couch, and he'd be like, fuck, you get off my couch. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be like, I just want to pet you, you know? Yeah, well, people would be like, I just want to touch you. And he'd be like, no, don't touch me. But he'd be fine <laughs> if you didn't want to touch him. <laughs> Beach that it makes you old says, Gramps goes to college was robbed. Stop the steal. I I kind of agree. Like, Gramps goes to college was a surprise. It was a Sam during pick, but... Um, I feel like I, you, I, I gave it two points and you didn't give it two points, I thought. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I probably didn't out of spite because it's a Christian movie. Yeah. But it was funny. <laughs> it only got four points. And I um, definitely I'm not gave it. Give Christian movies two points. I definitely gave it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So it looks like uh, Brotherhood of Satan um, is going to be the winner, which I think, you know, like really sets us up for next week pretty good because next week's theme just happens to be the devil. Huh? Oh, cool. Yeah. That was, I like how you're picking themes now. I like, I, I vibe this. That was already uh, picked. That was picked uh, two months ago. That was. If you look at the the calendar that we've made, that was already on the docket. That's weird, if dude. If you look up at the Google calendar, yeah. No, so it just so happens that that um That's weird, dude. It's very weird, very freaky. Uh just so you know, um in a couple weeks, I am going to uh, start doing an online sketch class. If anyone's interested, it'll be eight weeks. It'll cost like $300. Um, and uh, if you are interested, email me at... Uh, what is it? It's right here. It's... Uh, Sam WKUK class at gmail.com. Can I ask you questions about the class? Yes. It's eight weeks. So is that once a week? Yes. Once a week. Once a week. So eight sessions for $300 is chill. Eight sessions. $300. And, and you've done this a bunch before. This you've is, been doing this for a while. So yeah, you have like your thing. I've done this in LA for a while in person with people. Um, I kind of got out of it for a while for during pandemic when I was writing and I'm kind of like, well, maybe I'll get back into it. But I think getting back into it with like, um, people from the community would be fun. Um, is it like you're, it's not $300 a week. It's $300 total. And just so you know, uh, uh, if you're interested, just, uh, email me again at, Sam's W Sam WKUK class, not Sam's WKUK class. Uh, Sam WKUK class at gmail.com. Because also, I'll probably have something where it's like, you know, like you don't have to pay everything up front. Um, and yeah, how it's, much does that break down to per session? It's three hours, three hours, three hours each session. session. Wow. Uh, it probably will go even longer. Sometimes I go can go up to like four hours, but um, it's not three hundred dollars a week. <laughs> uh, thirty eight a session isn't bad. No, it's not three hundred a week. Everyone's saying it's three hundred dollars a week. No, and if you're interested, just email me and, and you'll figure it out. <laughs> you'll, I'll send you the information, and this is 
It's about $8 an hour. Yeah, I'll make about $8 an hour. Well, I mean, uh, it's, or, it's like you're paying $8 an hour. It's not bad. Um, let me ask you this. Is it structured like it's just lectures? Is it like three hours of lectures? or are you No, no. You'll people... be you'll be writing stuff every week. Uh, oh, okay. So we'll it's people that want to write. Yeah, it's for sketch writing. It's... Uh, cool. It's not 300 a week. Now, it's, if somebody comes to the class and calls it skit writing, is that like day one of the class explaining what skits and sketches are? <laughs> are, you, are you grading people? 300 a week <laughs> is crazy. It's not 300 a week. <laughs> I'm not teaching for 300 straight weeks. It's eight weeks. It's, uh, oh, can we watch slash hear slash read some of the sketches at the end? Well, that would be interesting doing a stream where you like oh, yeah. act out some of the yeah, maybe, we maybe will everyone do. gets That's one funny. sketch do like a because oh. you used to coach sketch teams too so beyond yeah. like teaching sketch writing through. you've actually helped produce sketch shows with new groups of people yeah I've been doing that for like 10 years uh, and yeah so and it, it's good I mean like and uh, you know one of the questions i get a lot of times about this is people go how can you teach you can't teach anyone to be funny and the thing i have to do is i you know i can i can't teach people to be funny i can teach people to be funnier i can teach people how to be better writers i can teach people how to more clearly explain their ideas and uh that's what i focus on but i also like uh if you're a fan of whitest kids you know like the class that i taught for 10 years was like semi autobiographical where i kind of you know that's when you teach you got to make things autobiographical you got to teach what you know and so a lot of this i'll be talking about the way we did things in whitest kids you know I remember you've told me stories of like how sketches turn corners and, and change stuff in, uh, in teacher class. I think that's really interesting for fans of Whitest Kids because then you get to see like where the sketch was going and then like ideas that changed the shape of it and then like the joke was something else, you know? Yeah, totally. Um, I mean, and that, that's like uh, someone the other day was like um, uh, asking me about uh, what my favorite part of teaching classes was. And I think like it really is like when uh you're like someone comes in with like an idea and a lot of times people come in with ideas that are like a lot that are like hey this is funny about this this is funny about this this is funny about this but really like little uh you know free taste of the class uh really what like sketches is about finding like a a, a singular idea funny and then extrapolating on that and so sometimes, you know, when like hearing someone sketch, you're able like with them to like be like, hey, that like little part of it's really funny. Like, why don't we like I remember someone came in and they had a, a sketch that was about uh, it was like a parody of like a sea monkey commercial kind of thing. And there's like one line in it that was like, uh, um like something about how you can be these little creatures god and i was like oh that's so funny and we made the whole sketch like this kind of west world thing of like you have these creatures and you can do anything with them and like and like setting up the whole commercial as like being like oh they're little happy beings and then like like you can destroy them if you want you know like and like kind of playing into that dark you know like absolute power kind of thing and it like ended up being one of these things where like once we kind of cracked that idea it kind of wrote itself and uh it was really fun like and the it's what writing sometimes is like too uh how big are the classes going to be they're going to be 15 people i'm going to cap it at that uh and uh yeah uh it's gonna start in a couple weeks i don't have a I, i'm gonna email everyone and uh figure that out with the people that are emailed so if you're if you're interested uh just hit me up cool 
Well, I had a good time tonight. It was a good show. Good show. Uh, I think sometimes when I feel the themes aren't going to be strong, like I have a more fun time because it's like sillier. And then like some of the episodes that I'll be like, oh, so really fun. I'm like, yeah, I see the movies that really got me. So, uh, I think, you know, what I put into it fucks it up more. <laughs> throw out, throw out uh, someone to raid. Somebody. First suggestion goes. <clears throat> you want chat to do it or you want me to do it? Whoever. Um, Pando, hey Pando, he just hit partner. He's hey. at sixty people watching him play Mario sixty four. Hey Pando, hey, one hey, word. Hey Pando, yeah. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Um, check out Wednesday for the Muscle Show. Thank you guys. Uh, I had a great time. Souls Asylum. Souls Asylum. And I'll probably be streaming some Whitest Kids uh, housekeeping, photoshopping. You know, if you're around, come hang out with me, Nate Blackest. And we got to do that that Timmy uh, uh, PUBG stream soon, huh? Yeah. All right. What? Wait, watch this. Right- <laughs>